There we go. We are currently like live. Hey and guys. What up? What up everyone? <laughs> so first fight's gonna be Validian versus Hapo. So Validian's still not marked as an enemy for some reason. There we go. So Did you message Validian? Yeah, yeah, they both they both know what's up. I okay. think Validian's in chat. Should have asked them to join um uh, voice chat here, but okay, so first fights off Hapo versus Validian. Validian is a Forsaken versus Hapo or Stagger Boy. Landing a lot of pushback kicks here. Oof, broken that guard very Ooh. nicely. Oh, gravity function, but got dodged there, looks like. They still really like to fight away from me, so it's a bit harder to see. And Hapo takes the first round. Congrats to him. Hapo just kept on doing a lot of pressure for Belinda. Yeah. He didn't seem to have a chance to come back. Hapo just applied a lot of pressure with that guard break, push back kicks. Let's well, see how round two turns out. Good manual dodge there by Olivian. Got a lot of pressure. Oof, missed time that parry. Oh, that unlock tag by Hapo there. Running away a bit, manual as well. Ooh, clean parry by Melidian putting pressure back here. And they decided they do want to fight next to Alta and say, fuck Chris, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Alta, best part. Yeah, who Melidian. gives a shit about the quality of the stream? Yeah, no one gives a shit about it. And Hapo takes round two. A very clean fight stand. Will this just be a 3-0 with victory by Hapo or will... I, I, be I believe in the comebacks, but looks like currently Hapo with that unlock tech and with that AU host might be having an advantage here. Um, but we'll see. Oof, Validian putting good pressure. Oh, that dodge! Nice manual dodge. Oh, clean parry by Validian. A lot of HP lost by Hapo, but Hapo does have that stamina advantage. And that unlock tech, I think the unlock tech throwing off Validian's Forsaken since pairing can be hard against the unlock tech. Nice clean parry there by Validian. No real confirmed damage there, only stamina damage. Ooh, and Validian's guard's broken. A lot of damage. That front stack got optimal punish. <laughs> Best damage for go broken bar, bar guard. Ooh, nice, nice mix-up by Hapo taking the third round. But last round left. Can't Hapo do a clean, clean, um, how was it called, ace. One round left, come on. Well, that match was, was actually very fun to watch. Both of them had very equal amount of HP half the time, but Hapo took the victory. Yeah, Hapo had that stamina management a bit better than Validian. Could apply more stamina damage and pressure. Validian missing some crucial parries there, getting punished for that. Oof, that pushback kick lands two times in a row. Ah, uh, the third time not gonna be it though. Wait, Chris, how many wins do you need to get in the first Four. matches? Four. Four wins, okay. Four wins for the normal, three wins for the uh, loser bracket. So three wins, is uh, loser bracket is basically normal CTs. Okay. Harpo, very low HP here, living on a sliver, and Validian does get the round four here. Coming back, Validian doing them comebacks, Le uh, has downloaded Hapo's deck, looks like. And might might do a turnaround. Lot, lots more parries connecting He's now by Validian. a lot of rounds to get a turnaround. Two, he has to basically been every single round. Yeah. That that's, does not look like it's gonna be the case, but that, uh, make, uh, that could happen. Ooh! That Stomper broken, breaking that front saga. Uh, unlock tech mixing up for uh, his parry there. He could not parry because of that. Oof! Just missed his heal. Hapo gets a heal just because of the range and Validian suffering. The range too strong. And unlock tech again uh, coming in handy for Hapo there. Hapo front staggering using his health advantage. But taking a lot of damage there. That's a lot of damage done by them, but Validian's very nice. Oh, a gravity kill, let go! And Hapo takes the first match. 
with the nice ass oh, gravity just kills. Caught up the slam dunk by Happo. Slam dunk. Uh, well, Happo takes the win, but the Validian put up a pretty good fight taking that one round. So next fight is Phil versus Aaron. Ooh, he's a windy boy. Phil changing up, going as a windfall for this one. Oh, he could actually win then. Maybe. He has actual confirms and not shit he has uh, interrupts, so might be something. <laughs> Oof, not getting that slowdown though. Nice, nice mix of by Phil, doing a lot of damage. Oof, but gets parried. Getting too greedy there with them slow moves. Fainting a bit too much, now he's out of stamina, but Aaron's also out of stamina. So both of them... Both of them not having that best of stamina. Aaron a bit lower. Both similar HP bars, but Phil now on a stamina disadvantage. But has that EQ to back him up. And Aaron takes the first round in a pretty close battle, to be honest. Yeah, Using... Phil has actually performed very well in this fight. Yeah, to be honest. And also Aaron using that uh, 10 second rule that you can't heal and just wait for a bit. You do not have to revive your enemy instantly. Also, there's no rule against not using weapons that are on the ground. So that is also okay what Aaron's doing right now. Picking up a weapon to use against Phil. Doing some cut damage on the boy. Cut him up, our little stagger win for Whoa! Phil be teleporting around. Looks like his internet went off. Rip Phil, what the fuck? <laughs> He's lagging hard, yes. <laughs> that is truth. <laughs> I can't see myself. Oof. Phil going philosophical. Can we all can What is going on? Phil get off like your Phil unlocked the instant transmission ability that is not released yet. Yeah, using the new teleport. <laughs> or he needs to get off his mama's internet. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like the rip fail. Uh, are you okay? Oof. <laughs> Aaron doesn't even want to fight him because he's not retaliating. Yeah, he's like... Okay, but Phil is just walking forward, letting him alert Aaron, killing him. Has Phil messaged you? Nope. No, yeah, yeah, he did. He said he can't see himself. Do you wanna maybe restart this round and try again if he lags and maybe... Yeah, I can restart. Uh, I think I'm, I, I, maybe I could restart game. Yeah. Maybe I have to do that. Or is, let me message Phil. What's going on, Phil? Now that, okay, they're fighting again. Uh, Phil... Putting back the pressure, it looks like he got, he stopped, turned off his u turret and he's starting to play again. Not teleporting anymore, not using the secret teleport sec uh, techniques. Applying good pressure. But Aaron has that guy with them good parries here. But clean dodge, but not clean enough and Aaron takes round 3. Ooh, the little VM coming from Aaron here with them spam revives. Going into round four. Both have their weapons out now. Hmm. Uh, oof, Phil teleporting again a bit. Oh my lord, he just fucking went off. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oof, indeed. Um. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a very weird match here. Yeah? Phil getting just smacked in the head and teleport walking using the sacred techniques of the laggy boy. Good job for us local app for releasing these patches that fix the internet connection between people Liter and open world. Yes, <laughs> literally a new patch uh, yesterday. Uh, that's it Aaron, you won. Aaron won four matches here. Yeah. Uh, next fight is o Osanderitz versus Collector. Getting their fabs over right now. So that should be an interesting fight. A little YouTuber here. Fighting Collector. I think you butchered both of the names, but 
Yeah, I did. I definitely did. I guess. <laughs> I, I know I did. I can say them either. <laughs> I know I did, but like, I I don't know how to say their names, and I'm just gonna say them how I did. I level PvP, let go! Yeah, okay, so first round, Obsidian vs. Collector. Happening right now. Alright, uh, Obsidian starting, but Collector switching, the, uh, switching up, but Missing some absorbs there, but already back on his track. Oof, applying good damage onto Ossidian, but... Notch, oof! Ossidian doing a bad front second there, taking a lot of damage. Chris Jump out of I don't... Boy! Okay, Staga, Staga YouTuber doing a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man! I suck at names, man, I suck at names. Just say Ocean, or us. Okay, awesome. Ocean Man doing a lot of damage. Yeah, Ocean yeah. Man. Oh, oof. With the Draken powers, but was blocked here. First ability going out was that EQ. O Ocean Man very low and Ocean Man going down in the hands of Collector. This is some high level PvP. Uh, man, this is the highest level PvP right here. Uh, round 2 starting off. Collector taking round 1. Ocean. Ocean at, uh, looking to start initial aggression, trying to break that heal, won't be successful, but that heal also timed out. Ooh, Collector failed absorb and took a lot of damage there. Pushback Hick doing a lot of stamina damage into that Yoink ability. Colle uh, Ocean doing a rush attack. Oof, jump out elbow breaking his guard there. Collector very low, ooh, and Collector fall, oh. fall, dying. That's a smooth, smooth uh, attack deck, very clean by Ocean Man. This is probably the closest fight we've seen so far. Anyone could win at this point. Stop fighting? Wait, somebody, why do you want to stop fighting? What the fuck? Oh, the uh, is complaining about the lag. Oh, okay. Seems like every match so far has been the lag fest, so... <laughs> That's very nice, I guess they... <laughs> new patch, like literally tested out yeah, uh, before it was okay, and the day before tournament they released a new patch, so might be. Looks like this patch is a bit laggier, so I guess they didn't fix the lag this time. Oof! A lot of damage done by Collector onto Ocean Man. Oof, an Ocean Man going down to the hands of the Collector in the third round. I, I can't do anything about the lag, it's just game. Well, the lag is okay, it's just part of the salt experience. Yes, <laughs> to have a pure uh, salt experience, you have to have a lot of lag. <laughs> <laughs> or else it wouldn't be salt, right? Oof, uh, it's Ocean Man using his drunken power very wrongly there, getting punished very strongly. EQ confirms, not really confirming by Collector. Doing a lot of damage, a lot of pressure applied by Collector here. O o Ocean is taking a lot of damage, but he's trying to avoid with manual. Oof, oof! Very oof, just a oof. A lot of damage just a lot coming of by, coming by collector. A lot of damage. Uh, it's a. Uh, there's one more. There's one more. That's out of uh, like he, collector needs to win four rounds. So uh, Ocean can do a comeback. I'm really sorry again for the ball players for butchering your names. I just really suck at names. My apologies. Ooh, clean side stack as via Ocean. Applying a lot of damage here. Ooh, and a Duncan Pro doing a lot of damage to Collector. Ooh, oh, Collector missed absorbing. Taking a lot of damage. Nice jump out elbow back stagger by o Ocean. Oh, that Duncan Pro dodge. Very, looks very sick here. Did a lot of nice dodging here by Ocean. Collector using a lot of EQs. Not really having that damage though. Because Ocean taking that round right here. Yeah, and again, this could be anyone's game. Yeah, both players have uh, similar health bars as well. So Ocean might do a comeback here. But if Collector takes this round, he takes the whole match. So let's see what's gonna happen. Collector trying to get that EQs, but Ocean blocks that. 
So no confirmed damage to Collector. Collector applying a lot of pressure here though. Oof, Brandstagger stopping that pressure a bit, but it looks like it's not gonna be enough because Collector keeps on pounding on Ocean. A lot of damage coming by. Oof, side staggers clean, side staggers there. Dodges by, but not clean enough because Collector takes this round and this match. Everyone who lost, they can still take the victory if yeah. they well in the loser's bracket, which will just go after best plebs match. Yeah, everybody who, everybody who lost still has a chance, don't worry. There's always a loser's bracket, can't do a comeback. So next fight is you, Justice, versus Nesbury. Oh shit. Oh, you both are staggers, right? Oh, I didn't know Nesbury was a stagger. Yeah, I thought he was a Forsaken. All right, this will be fun. Stagger versus Stagger, let go! So first uh, first round, Nasbury versus Justice. Nasbury applying the initial pressure. Oof. With that wall hey, Oof. Stag Justice trying to put up black, black pressure, but looks like it's gonna be unsuccessful. Nasbury applying a lot of damage and pressure to Justice. Justice doing that EQ wall up confirms. Oof. That did a lot of damage to Nasbury. Oh my lord, the high damage moves from Justice. The, the chip just destroying Nasbury's helper. Nasbury now low on stamina and dead. Justice taking round one in a in a very surprising like it looked like Nasbury is gonna take the first round, but Justice just did a very nice turnaround. And we're going to round two. And oof. Nasbury uh, stopping that heal from Justice and interrupting with that front saga. Uh, interrupting again, but now he's a bit low on that stamina bond. Justice not capitalizing at all though. Just gonna use a heal and not gonna that parry side is gonna stop that heal. Oof. That front side got stopped by a guard back there. Both players a bit applying a lot of pressure here, but Justice a bit too low on that HP bar and we'll go down to Nasbury. In a let me change my graphics a bit. Oh, Justice changing the graphics. I guess we'll do a little graphic changing time thing. I'm gonna throw everything I lost, I don't like. I can't. Everybody who says I have to keep my camera or anything, I listen. To, wait, is, are you. Quite fighting, I, by the way. Yeah, I'm watching. I. I can't change the camera, I have to keep targeting players. Like, look, if I target Nasbury, uh, Justice HP bar disappears. I have to keep targeting you guys. If I don't target you guys, the HP bars keep disappearing, so I keep on pressing X, and that makes the camera very chaotic, but at least you can see the HP bars. Chris, I thought you gonna be done being salty after yesterday. No, I ain't salty. <laughs> this is the salt tournament for a reason, boy. Ooh, Nasbury turning around. A lot of health hell gained by that heal pop there. Everybody deciding to beat the cameraman right now. I'm gonna read your messages later. Or I can just target one of you, I guess. But then you can't see, like right now, you can't see Nasbury's HB bar. But you can see Justice and the camera is smooth. I have to flick the camera so it switches uh, the ta uh, targets. Like right now, if I just move it a bit, it doesn't switch. So, I, don't, I can't just, like right now, I just, I have, to, uh, I have to flick the camera. I understand what you mean, but until they give us spectator mode, this is the best I can do right now. <laughs> to get the full HP bus. Justice, very low on the HP bar, but has that stamina advantage. Applying a lot of pressure, but Shockwave getting out of that pressure by Nasbury here. Oof. Failed side staggers, both players very no, and Nasbury taking that round in a very clutch wall up there. And we're going into match round three. Justice, uh, Justice one, Nasbury two, but Nasbury very low on that HB bar. So Justice using that stab, uh, stagger, anti stagger combo, doing pretty decent damage, but Nasbury gets out of there, pops a heal. Can he capitalize on this heal though? We all guess we'll find out. Parry stack not being efficient. Front saga breaks that heal, but Justice can't apply too much pressure off that. So, and looks like 
Ooh, that high pizza to punch there. Oof, oh. oof. Just as taking this round with that high damage deck. Just needs to land just a couple hits against our little Saga boy here. And just dis destroys him here with them high damage moves. Pulling out the sword. Oof, Nasbury, laggy boy. That sword gonna cut up Nasbury or cut up the uh, Justice here. I guess we'll find out. Uppercut. He, Nasbury applying a lot of pressure here. Got, uh, got Justice sword. Using Dark Bird to get out of that pressure. And uh, Nasbury, I think, has Justice's school deck as well. So this is quite interesting matchup here. Who will be the master or the student? Since Justice, uh, Nasbury has Justice's deck. Wait, he is using my deck. Yeah, he has your deck, man. <laughs> He's literally using your sword deck. So who's gonna be who's gonna be the victor, the student oh, no. or the master? Oh no! Looks I like this. Looks like <laughs> Nasbury putting a lot of pressure with all Justice's own sword deck, but Justice gets his sword deck and cuts up Nasbury in this round, taking a third round here. Justice needs to win one more, and he will be victorious. And Nasbury needs to. Wait, so I'm winning, right? Yeah, you're winning. You need okay. one more, and Nasbury needs two. Okay, that's good. Front stack up. We're getting that initial pressure, but heal wears off. Pushback getting dodged by backstagger. Vertical. Oof! Clean! Clean backstagger pain there, but not a lot of gain from that clean execution there. Nice by manual dodge, jump out elbow. Nasbury applying a lot of damage to Justice. Justice does not have that much LB bar left. Very strikes and wallops getting thrown by both players. Very... Oof! Oh, Justice oh. literally on 0 HP and gonna fall too. The manual dodge trying to avoid. Nasbury using his skill, trying to get, waiting out those 10 seconds to, to initialize that heal as much as possible. And now, Justice... Whoever wins this one wins the match, but uh, Nasbury having a little bit lower HP bar. But that does not matter since the HP bar is pretty even right now. It's anybody's game right here. Who will be the, uh, who will be victor? The student or the master? Justice having the HP bar advantage right now. And the stamina bar. And never mind, just the stamina bar is a bit lower. But he can use that EQ to gain stamina back. And just uh, Nasbury, Nasbury can use that shockwave too. Nasbury uses Shockwave heal, the sacred arts of gaining the HP. Oof, Parry Strike st uh, interrupting uh, Justice's high damage ability. Bad front strike up there by Nasbury. Took a lot of damage, a lot of stamina damage there. Good interrupts by Nasbury, but will it be enough? Oof, no, oof! Yes. Oof, the three clean, three punches. Oof, and Justice takes this very close match here. The master still stays the master and proves why he's the master in this Hell very, yeah. very close matches here. Sega's little fat, I mean, awesome fat's over. Showing up in, on your screens right now. <laughs> we were going as a monk. So I didn't read the rules, but I assume it's the same as the other. Yeah, so. it's basically the same. Just don't abuse bugs and. Uh, don't hack. Yeah. No hackerino and punch each other in the face. Alright, yeah. alright. Alright. And no Forsaken, so uh, Parry Strikes, Softquakes. Yes, yes, ban every single thing I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> Re. Uru, lot of lot, low on that stamina. Ziga playing. A, ooh, Ziga breaking Uru's guard, doing a lot of uh, damage there. But Uru turning it back around with a hell of a lot of damage here. Ziga using them EQs but not having enough stamina to do any damage. Uru using this time that Ziga backed up to use a heal. <laughs> Oof! Ziga, I mean Uru getting a lot of heal prop cocks here. Uru can't doing oh, them car bags confirms. Oh, Everybody uh, count and I mean only Forsaken can avoid those guard breaks or if you use manual dodge. So a lot of guard break confirms doing a lot of damage to Ziga. Ziga very low here and Ziga will fall. <laughs> Uru using them 10 seconds to heal up and do a little bit of VM. I like how our fashions are like completely opposite. <laughs> yeah. It's like classy yeah. and clean and mine is just messy yeah. and hard. The clash is very... Went the clash, for the boys. The clash is very Woo. interesting. Oof. 
a lot of damage there. Ooh, uh, Ziggab applying a lot of stamina damage there with them. Uh, grab punches and barrage back kicks, but the Uru is the one who breaks the guard. There you go. So, Ziggab applying a lot of damage. That, <laughs> that cheeky little grab puncher. So, uh, being pretty useful. The clean staggering by Siga. Uru trying to avoid uh, side avoid that EQ not gonna happen. You have to jump those. Ah! Oof. And Uru oh, taking on, that man. round too. Come on, Uru, <laughs> give me a chance. Like pretty clean fights, but both, but Uru coming on top in the two Uru rounds. Uru has some very clean dodges in his moves. Yeah, like he do do dodges very clean in there, and then. Does a lot of cool high damage moves there. Applying good pressure against Ziga. Already uh, chunking her down a bit. Ooh, that front stagger hurts a lot. Front staggering against high damage moves is a uh, high risk and it did not turn real good for Ziga there. Oof, pushback kick doing a lot of damage to Ziga, but Ziga can't break the guard. Oof, that pushback kick conform after a void does just does a lot of damage and Sega files too, or a round through. Might be. Uh, I think that might be it. Like he's doing a lot of cyber voids there and getting a lot of damage yeah. in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uro taking that round three. Oof, sidekick starter. Not connecting, but still, Uro has the initial aggression. Oof. Oh, that them fade games coming off, both players faint. Ziga on low on that stamina. Applying some good pressure here. A bit low on that stamina though, but still under pressure. Using that EQ for the stamina gain. Grab puncher! Going out by Ziga. Oh, uh, Uro angry, rushing down Ziga there. Oof, sidekicks hitting by. Stupid Uro. tree, get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> the one place where you can get stuck by uh, terrain here. Oof, EQ confirmed for the win, that nasty. That feels oh, bad. Nochera versus Kayumera. Round one beginning right now. Kayumera really likes them altars, standing pretty close to it. Go, my dude. Nochera versus Kayu. Cowboy versus Windfall. Well, Kayu's fashion is definitely better. Yeah, Kayu's fashion is always nice. Nochera, a bit on the random side, but still not the worst. I've um, seen. Yeah, we had Siga last round. Siga <laughs> yeah. has the is the queen of the bad fashion. Yeah. Uh, Nochira playing a lot of pressure, breaking that card has enough, just enough to get that one move out. But now backing off a little bit low, too low on that stamina. Caillou doing a rush down here, applying pressure to our cowboy. Blue pill does not like the pressure and manual dodges away, but Caillou applying that pressure back. With them EQ confirmed chin pumps by Caillou doing a lot of damage. Nochira backing off. It's low on that head people. Ooh, Caillou wrong place trying to side avoid. Nochira using uh, shockwave to get back his health bar there this and his stamina bar. Yeah, it's pretty close. The blue boy applying a lot of pressure to Caillou. Ooh, clean die side dodge. Caillou almost got that avoid confirmed. But avoid that move is a bit too fast to confirm a guard back there. I think that void move has to be 15 or higher. Nochira literally on zero HP here, applying a lot of pressure to Caillou. Caillou could not interrupt, and Nochira takes a clutch round one. Very clutch, actually. Holy shit, that was insane. Yeah, this is probably the closest part we have so far. Yeah, first round very close here. Caillou standing around. Okay, they're ready to fight. Nochira likes to go closer to the auto because he fucking hates me. And there we go. <laughs> They're both fighting in a... Nochira applying pressure. Caillou missing that avoid, getting punished very heavily by Nochira. Nochira manual dodging away. Oof. And that axe kick does confirm. And that sidekick. Caillou getting misplayed here. Nochira having enough space to regain stamina. Caillou not applying too much pressure here. Caillou getting punched by Nochira, doing that EQ guard bakes there, applying a lot of damage. Nochira, oof! Nochira, again, breaks the guard and applies a lot of 
A lot of damage there. Caillou not ca not capitalizing on the, the low stamina bar of Nachira and oh. losing the round two. So it's 2-0 to Nachira right now. Yeah, the blue pill is quite strong right now. Oof, sidekick does do a lot of damage to Caillou. Caillou doing that EQ elbow though. Not the optimal damage, but not the worst. Not getting that slowdown right now. Oh, but dodges that high damage. Not a move, Caillou there. And Nochira doing the sacred shockwave, uh, shockwave heals. <laughs> getting a bit of heal there, but not too much to be honest. And Caillou does take round three. Looks like Caillou has started to download Nochira's deck there. He avoided a lot more cleanly this time around. So this might be a comeback by Caillou here. Uh, Nochira spamming too much that absorb, getting punished by Caillou. Caillou starting to finally apply a lot of pressure not to Nochira. Nochira just trying to run away but not very successful. But now Nochira applying back pressure to Caillou. Nochira panic shockwaves with full stamina bar, not even pushing back Caillou. Yeah, very Looks like... From the screen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Caillou takes round 4 in a surprising comeback right now. Literally, not that like Nochira starting to panic a bit here using honestly, his abilities. Honestly, very anyone weirdly. can win this this fight, so yeah, it's very close to be honest. The initial fights were especially right now. It looks like Nochira is starting to panic a bit using his manual dodges and abilities a bit too much. But Caillou, a bit low on that stamina bar here. Oof, sidekick does a lot of damage to Caillou. Caillou does that EQ grab by conforms though, doing a lot of damage to Nochina. Both players having equal health bars here. Caillou bit on uh, now on the defensive. Oof, guesses wrong and gets punched, avoids in the wrong direction. Nochira trying to do them chuck wave heals again. Not very successful this time. Uh, Caillou getting punched a lot by Nochira applying a lot of Nochira applying good pressure here. Ooh, but clean dodge by Caillou. Kochira shockwave heals again, but uh, Caillou has enough of that and uses EQ to stop that. Clean avoid by Caillou. Both players literally zero HP and Caillou with them clean avoids takes round five. Yeah. Caillou now needs to win one more and he will take these matches. Caillou feel very, very clean avoids. Caillou these fights are very, so close. Yeah. Caillou, very close fights by both players. Kachira, Nochira playing very nice pressure here. Caillou low on that stamina bar. Oof. And Caillou will fall to Nochira. So both players, whoever takes this round right here, takes a whole match. Both players, equal head health bar as well. Nochira a bit lower on stamina. Anyone's game actually. Both uh, very close matches here. Caillou applying good pressure. Nochira did a very good absorb, but Caillou brings back with a really good uh, down avoid. Caillou low on that stamina bar. I uh, use a CQ. Motorcycle drives by, lol. Um, no, Caillou. Uh, Nochira missed, uh, missed times he's absorbed that. Uh, Caillou punishes very nicely. Nice EQ there, but not enough confirmed damage. Nochira can back off. Oof! Nochira breaks Caillou's guard. Ooh! Caillou does not get that interrupt. And Nochira is trying to apply a lot of pressure. Chin Palm does connect against Nochira. Sidekick does not though. And Nochira applying the pressure right now. Breaking Caillou's guard. Caillou on the defensive. Oh, missed times that avoid. Nochira does not have his stamina though. Can Caillou capitalize? Caillou does the EQ. Both players low and Caillou takes it. In a very, very close. Literally at the end there. Whoever would have done the first punch would have won there. And Caillou does that the first punch. So and Caillou takes the win here. In a very, very close fight. Wind Bo Windy Boy versus versus Blue Pill. Windy you, Boy comes on top on this one. You can see that both the players start spamming at the end. Caillou trying to get as many hits as possible. And Nochira trying to avoid it. But it seemed like Caillou got the edge on this one. Now. One yeah, game. so now we have Ometra versus Nile. Two NA players with AU hosts. Very interesting. <laughs> a very interesting tournament here, right? We have. Oof. Nile trying to start the initial pressure, but Ometra turns it out instantly. 
Uh, I'm not sure. I think one is called. But no, I think they're both windfall. Yeah. Okay. They're both windfall. You are right. We just looked at their hands. Both hold. Oof, Ometra breaks uh, Nilek's guard, applying a lot of damage to Nilek. Oof, just a lot of damage. Both like to fight next to the Alta here. Ometra takes round one against Nilek. The initial aggression was by Nilek, but Ometra turned it on instantly and kept the pressure going. Let's see if he can do that in the coming rounds. Nilek for pulling out that sword. He's an angry boy. Ometa picks up the broken sword though, so he has some cut reduction. Oof! Um, Nilek starts with the charge move. Good, having good initial aggression against Ometa. Ometa very low on that stamina bar. Okay, dodges but does not get that stamina gain back. Oof! Uh, Nilek applying good pressure here, but Ometa turning around already, even though he has lower stamina. Uh, both players really like to fight in the worst camera angles possible. Uh, Nilek applying pressure back here. Ometra. <laughs> Oof, that charge move does a lot of damage. Nilek picking up the broken sword. Ometra healing, walking forwards. Chris, I'm thinking if you can't really see them if you're when you're locked on, you should just watch them fight instead of seeing their health bar, which is probably more important. Yeah, true, but if you can't see their health bar, you don't know what's going on though. Nila taking it on too. All right, this could be anyone's game as well. Nila looks to be downloading on Meta's deck a bit faster, but on, on Meta pulls out his uh, high cut damage sword here, applying good pressure. But on Meta already turning around the pressure using pushback kick. Uh, both players pretty low stamina. On Meta losing the stamina game. But might be winning the HP bar game here. Oof. Ooh! Jump, jump out elbow beats that. Nilek using them EQ confirmed. Clean dodge by Ometra. Dodges that charge uh, grab punch. Ooh. Ometra star uses that heal very efficiently. Heals up a lot and applies a lot of damage. Oof. On Meta playing this very cleanly and taking round 3. And has full HP bar because of that heal. Very clean ability used by On Meta here. And we're going into round 4. On Meta has the ability lead and now also both players are equal stamina and health bar. On Meta near like a playing the initial aggression here. Oof. On Meta does break the guard though with a lot of high damage high uh, and guard break moves. Nilek like using that grab punch very efficiently turns on to pressure. Ometa failing to avoid attacks getting damaged a lot. Oof! Nilek like avoids just a bit too early but uses them EQs to save himself here. Oof! Double straights and breaks Nilek like breaks the guard of Ometa but does not have enough stamina to follow up. Um, um, just look, both players looking each other out, seeing who, who can pop up the heal first, and Neil like looking to be successful in that. Is Oof! It? A lot yeah. of damage. Ooh, guard broken by Ometra, but he was stuck on the rocks and could not apply any pressure, lol. The raid, please. Oof! Oof! What? Neil like turning around in an instant. Wow. Taking round four. I was so sure Ometra gonna win that, but... It's a nerf earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Nilek turning it around, but Ometra angry, taking out that sword, trying to cut down Nilek when he's low on that HP bar. Nilek applying good pressure here, knocking out the sword of Ometra. Ometra not happy about that at all, and Gar breaks the fool. And the takes fool. round the fool. <laughs> and takes around... Five? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was round five. A match Omet just needs one more round to win and he wins the match and Alik needs two more. Yeah. You're correct on that one. Yes, I Oof. am. <laughs> yes, you are. Oof. Ometa applying a lot of pressure there, but does not have enough, enough stamina to continue and and Neil like does use EQ to turn the pressure, but Ometa does not like that and flies pressure back. But, but a clean dodge by Nilek, 
applying a good pressure, but now he has low stamp. Ooh, that jump out elbow dodge. Oof. Onetra does take this round and this match in a clean, clean uh, last moments there. So it's a 4 2. Good very... job to Onetra. That was a fun match to watch. Yeah, both players played very, co uh, very cool, very nicely. Very cool, very nice. <laughs> very cool, Kanye. So first round, Arch versus Best Flem, and Nay versus Ayu. Arch doing a good interrupt here, applying, was applying pressure, but now Pleb already turned that pressure around. Oof, clean parry there by Arch. Pleb do, using that EQ uppercut, doing a lot of confirmed damage there. Pleb clean parry. Oh, Pleb's forsaken, lol. Pleb going all, uh, for Pleb going for fuck's sake and attack his windfall. Both forsaken players here. Uh, oof, Archie misses that parry, takes some damage there. Pleb, oof, Pleb gets knocked out. Try to, ooh, clean, clean EQ there. I actually use that absorb frames very nicely there by Pleb. Archie very low, but applying that pressure. Pleb can't find an opening, but no, never mind. As actually as I said it, he finds an opening and takes round one. Pleb is quite little with forsaken, not gonna lie. Yeah, you need, maybe he's not warmed up. It's he misses some parries there. Uh, oof, clean parry. Exactly as I say, he misses some parries. He does one of the cleanest initial parries there. Breaks Archie's guard, just just uh, putting him in a corner, applying a lot of pressure. But now he missed that jump out elbow parry. Takes a lot of damage. Doing that uh, helicopter elbow da mix up there. Oof. Breaks Archie's guard with a uh, pushback kick. Archie low on that health bar, health bar, but Pleb also not looking that good. Trying to manual dodge does not do well, but does have a clean parry there. Applies good pressure against Archie and the helicopter for the win. Spin to win. Pleb takes round two. In a pretty close fight there. Archie almost got him there. But Pleb did some clean parries at the end. He's getting used to it. Ooh, Archie using them silence, stopping Pleb from healing. Pleb doing a lot of damage though, does not like that he's silenced, applies a lot of damage, but Archie turns uh, back that pressure. Both players just uh, trying to find an opening. Very, oof, Pleb breaks, breaks Archie's guard, but does not have enough stamina to retaliate. Ooh, clean, parry by Pleb. He now knows the jump out the elbow timings. Looks like he downloaded that this time around. Not missing them anymore. Ooh, but the uh, jump out elbow dodges that low attack. Oof, Axe kick does a lot of damage against Pleb here. Jump out elbow, uh, pushback kick breaks Archie's guard and secures Pleb round three. Both players really hate me because they fucking fight in the worst spots though. Come on, man. Why you fight that? We Pleb really low on that health bar though. Oof, Axe Kick does a lot of damage to Pleb. Archie has that offensive guy. Ooh, Pleb misses that parry. And EQs exactly at the worst timing. And Archie takes this round right here. Round 4 goes to Archie. And both players at full health bar. Archie playing good pressure. Uh, Pleb doing them helicopter dodges though. Oof, clean parry there by Archie. Good job there. Pleb does not like them clean parries though and hooks him right in the face. Misses some, uh, misses that jump out elbow parry again by Pleb. He needs to land uh, that. He get, that's one of the highest damage abilities Archie has done against Pleb here. Archie, ooh. Archie trying to apply a lot of pressure to Pleb. Pleb is now on a had stamina and health bar disadvantage, but is applying that pressure against Archie. And Archie misses the wrong side and gets smacked in the face. But both players very low on that health bar, but Pleb doing that clutch parry at the end takes the round and takes the victory. Very clean fights there. That last parry there was very clean. Pleb's double dab helicopter combo is very efficient in this fight, as you could see. Yeah. And... It applied a lot of pressure there. So Pleb does take the round, but in a very, very clean fight for Archie there, does take one round there. Now we're gonna move on to the losers bracket, starting yeah. with Belindian versus Phil. So if both of you players are in the stream, make sure to get ready. If you wanna join the voice judges, please go ahead and do, and do so. 
Let's hope Phil not gonna and lag out this time. We'll see who are the losers of the losers. Okay, five minutes is already up. Rip Phil. Rip one by default. Uh, so next match is Obsidian versus or, or I should say Ocean Man. Ocean Man versus Nesbury. Both good EU stagger boys. Mm -hmm. One of them is using my school. Yeah. Um, so I hope he wins, but no, no, nothing against Ocean. Just say. It. Both stagger boys, so not a stagger matchup. I, lo I love like seeing all those stagger boys entering. Ooh, N Ocean are doing that uh, initial pressure here, but Nasberry putting back that pressure, doing doing pretty decent damage. Ocean interrupting with his front stagger here. Clean dodge by Ocean, aside staggering that jump out elbow there. Ooh, parry strike. Okay, parry strike, parrying strike, uh, attack there. Giving some advantage to Ocean. Nasberry going pretty risky. Prompt staggering a high damage move. The, ooh, and this time does it again, but this time does not work out. Takes a lot of damage, but the, Ocean taking some damage against the wall. Both players very low. Uh, uh, Ocean. Got out the, ooh! Clean by Ocean at the end there. Again, taking round one. This is probably the messiest but cleanest fight at the same time. Yeah, oh. it was kind of messy, but the oh, ending was so clean. Time. I forgot. Sorry, don't. Now you, you can. You have ten seconds. You can do whatever you want in those ten seconds, and then you can have to rewind. So Ocean takes round one in a clean end. There, pretty messy, messy in between though. Jump out elbow does connect against Ocean. Nasberry does a lot of stamina damage. Ocean is in the corner mm -hmm. here. Nasberry spinner. Oof. Interrupts by Ocean. Nasberry, ooh! Ocean uh, applying that pressure against. Oof, never mind, Nasberry switching that pressure instantly. Nasberry low on that stamina, gonna shockwave to get that back. Both players over. Nasberry looking to have. Yeah, Nasberry will have the advantage this round and will take a round two. In a pretty sloppy, uh, like messy, but still cool fights, with a lot of clean avoids by both players and a lot of good pressure mix-ups. The pressure switches uh, so much here. One second is Nasberry, one second is Ocean. Ooh, but Nasberry does miss that backstagger and gets punched by Ocean. Ah, oh, lag, lag. Ooh, Ocean having some lag here. Looks like some spikes going on. Matt. Ocean backing up, also regaining that stamina, but Nasberry using that moment and healing, front staggering to secure the heals. Both players now at equal health boss. Hmm. Ooh, parry strike misses. Cleans, uh, clean avoids by Nasberry she, here. She. Clean avoids by both players, but this time Ocean did not avoid and did get, get his guard broken here. These matches are so close. Yeah, they're pretty close. Both players doing a lot of clean dodges and uh, pressure uh, pressure changes. Who can utilize their uh, absorbs? EQ comes out by Ocean. Can use oh both <laughs> both did that cool uh, uh, handstand kick. Look very cool. Ooh, and handstand can coming in handy here for Ocean as he finishes him off. Ocean using them ten seconds to heal up. The handset handset kick is actually a really bad move, but when it works, it works. Yeah, it's uh, it's negative five. To throw it out, yes. Yeah. It's negative five, so if the player can block it, it's like oof. You're in, like I think they can confirm a high damage move off of that, but sometimes it can work. Like that worked very beautifully for Ocean Man, and Ocean Man getting a pressure by Nasberry, but does a clean backstagger. And applies a lot of clean damage there by Ocean. Nasberry not oh. usually. Ah, oh, that lift! Lol! Nasberry doing a cheeky little heal and just going on town on Ocean here. Oof, clean uh. back saga and clean finish there by Nasberry taking round four. Damn. That was hella clean. Nasberry just heals there and then, uh, ooh, taking out the sword. Both players oh, taking out the sword. Oh, come on, Nasberry, use my sword deck. Uh, Nasberry has that justice sword deck, but it's really good. Kind of hard to deal with sometimes. Ocean has some experience against it, though. True, true. But does that experience turn out to be a win here? I guess we'll find out. Ocean 
both players just switching up pressure. Ooh, but Ocean does a lot of damage there with that clean strike. Uh, disarming Nasberry. Nasberry does not have that cut reduction and Ocean starting to cut up Nasberry a little bit. And yeah, Nasberry will die to Ocean here in the fifth round. So Ocean needs to win one more to gain the match here and move on to the uh, second round of loser brackets. And does pick up uh, Nasberry's sword but drops it off for some reason. Does not want to use the sword, I guess. That's that's an interesting decision. You have better luck without the sword, so. I guess. But like, if you have this opportunity. Ooh, clean dad side dodge by Nasberry here. Oh shit. Already low on that stamina, but Perry Strike does come in handy here. But he's still low on that stamina. Trying to get away. That hand it does create a good distance. Ocean just trying to back off, gain some stamina back. Looks like he's gonna be successful. Both players pretty low on that stamina. Nasberry using that uh, this moment to heal. Use two heals here. Can Ocean interrupt? Looks like he won't be able to. Oh no, he is. Oh, Nasberry does not get to proc that heal too often. Just two procs there. Um, oof. Jump out elbow does a lot of damage to Ocean here. Shockwave against the wall for that stun. Oof. Inter good good dodge interrupts by Nasberry here. Try looking to try to do a comeback here. Interrupts. Front stack as an Ocean Man's high damage ability. Does not care and takes this round. Going into the last round. Who wins this match? This this round, I mean, wins the whole match. Who is the better stagger boy? Who is the ultimate stagger? Is it Justice's pupil or Ocean Man here? I mean, he has Nas a name as well. Nasbury. Nasbury. True, true. But he's he uses your sword like very efficiently. But right now, using his own mo uh, ha hands moves, working out pretty well. Applying a lot of pressure against Ocean Man, doing a lot of damage here. But but low on that stamina bar. But looks like oh. Manuel Nasberry does not have stamina, but never mind. Chocolate gives him back stamina. He can apply pressure back again. Oof. Ocean Man in a pretty a hard spot here. <laughs> Clean backstagger though. Bringing back that pressure. Ooh! A lot of damage by both players still at the same time. That was kind of cool. Oof. Very close match here. This is anybody's game at this point. Uh, Ocean using e uh, EQ, getting some confirmed damage off here. Oh my lord! Oh, that was so close. Here. Ocean does take, does take the match, but in a very, very clutch nice. close game. It was very close, very close. Good job by both yeah, players. Very nice. interesting, very interesting GG matches. for both the players. Both yeah. performed really well, but unfortunately for Nasbury, he's out of the tournament. Ocean Darcy still has a chance to win, but he has to fight versus Euro or Caillou next. So match 11, Ziga versus Nochira, coming soon. Double eight coming, you know, that they can connect uh, on both players, the first two lands win. There, there's like no bleed or anything. Yeah. So, okay, Nochira versus Ziga fighting right now. So, Nochira playing good damage versus Ziga here. Ooh, car, uh, grab pointer doing pretty good damage here. <laughs> both, both players are playing good pressure, Ziga without any stamina though. Pulls out weapons, I think accidentally here. Yep, it puts them instantly back down and gets killed for that misplay there. And Nochira takes round one. I think Ziga wanted to EQ. The Ooh. fight's pretty far away from the screen, so hopefully yeah. they come back. Oh, yeah, they are. They're kind of coming back here right now. So Nochira does take the sword on the ground here. Oof. Sika guesses wrong, avoids in the wrong direction, but does not matter because she da uses that grab puncher. Gets back the flow. Ooh! Grab punch is coming in handy. Ziga using EQ to stop uh, that heal from happening. But can she escape the pressure from Nochira to finish him off? Looks like she will be able to with that axe kick connecting there. Very clean fights by Ziga. She using them 10 seconds to heal up. Smart plays by Ziga. Big brain Ziga here. Running around in circles. <laughs> one, one. One, one. Uh, Nochira has that um, health advantage, though. 
So you got uh, seven a quarter of health plus the grab punch gets broken by that double. Oof, clean dodge, dodge by Ziga there. But Nochira not giving up the pressure, applying a lot of pressure here. Miss dodges and gets punched by Ziga. Ziga mistiming her side is getting punched a bit here. Ooh, Nochira trying to absorb the guard breaks, getting punished for that. Ziga trying to interrupt with the jump out elbow. Not a great plan here and does fall for that. And Nochira takes round three. Yeah. Ooh. Ziga does not like that Nochira heals right in front of her haze and does the same and gets punished actually. Look. Trying to show dominance, not working out for both players here. <laughs> Trying to heal in players' faces. Ah, the camera work here is so little. Oof, shockwave heal by Nochira. <laughs> uh, trying to manual dodge away. This tree is very annoying. Uh, can't see shit. Ziga applying good pressure. <laughs> Ziga applying that good pressure and does take this round here. So both players 2-2. This is anyone's yeah. man. Very close matches here. Yeah, I actually thought this was going to be more one-sided, but it seems yeah. like Ziga has potential to win this even. Yeah, Ziga has some clean avoids and good pressure here. Oof, but does not avoid that side, uh, sword move there and gets punished. Clean backstagger from that guard break here. Uh... Nochira does has the pressure advantage with that sword, but Axe Kick does connect against Nochira, doing a lot of damage here. Nochira, both players actually pretty low health bar here, but uh, I think uh, Ziga is running out of that stamina a bit. Nochira, uh, looking to be panicking a bit, shockwave, shockwave heals, even though his stamina is full, trying to get out of that um, pressure. Ziga Ooh, and Ziga! Ziga takes this round in a Yeah, Ziga clean. dominated this round. You just yeah. see her from the start just doing a lot of damage. But at the end, she got a little bit damaged, but still won the round. Yeah, Nochira started to panic there at the end. Even used his abilities quite strangely. Shockwaving, even though he's full of stamina. Nochira even bowing. Very, very honorable fights here by both players. Archie versus Neil, like coming to you right now. No, no, no one's going for that weapon there. Uh, Archie starting with the initial aggression. I think Archie is forsaken and Nilek is uh, windfall. Looks like. Ooh, clean fades by Nilek here. Applying good pressure against Archie. So both players look RNA with the EU host. So let's see how that works out for them. Nilek low on that stamina. Archie trying to capitalize but not capable to. Oof, but never mind, Archie is capable to capitalize and breaks Nilek's guard doing some decent damage. But Archie has that stamina very low and health bar also very low. But Nilek not capitalizing, not applying any pressure here, just looking at Archie. Yeah? But looks like he doesn't need to apply pressure since Archie is going down. And yeah, Archie. And Nilek takes round one. Hmm. I thought Archie would play better in the first round, but I think he can still come back from this. And yeah, he maybe he needs to download the deck first. Might be those those type of players. Some players need to have some rounds in before they start to actually kick off. Ooh, Neil like does pick up the sword here. Applies good pressure with it. Has some good sword deck here with the charge moves. Archie backs off trying to fight good opening and he does applying good pressure but uh, near like uh, EQing. Ooh, Carbait lands by near like Archie very low on that stamina bar but near Archie pulling back that pressure and near like using that grab puncher and Archie avoiding the wrong place and near like takes round two. Round yeah, round two. Pretty close that it, round. Yeah, that was, that was real close. I, for a second there, I thought Archie is going to do a comeback there. Archie uses the silence to stop Neelix heal. Always nice to see silence in game. Archie, Neelix doing a very slow avoid there. But it doesn't matter because Archie does not capitalize. Whoever's fucking message may stop right now, please. <laughs> I can't read. Um... Uh, you can read afterwards. Uh, Archie breaks the guard off Neelik. 
applying good pressure, almost getting there with that axe key, but Neil like does clean, absorb, avoid, but doesn't matter because Archie does take this round with that fast combo there. Neil like does not react correctly and goes down. The and axe going... kicks. The axe yeah. kicks spammed by Ark actually did a lot of damage to Nalik. Yeah. Ark. Yeah, Ark, not Archie. What the Ark? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to butcher their names. You already did. I know. I'm sorry. Both players. I think I knew, I knew like names also problem butchering. I'm sorry. I suck at names. Ark be going on the defensive a bit, but now mine exactly as I said that he's going on the defensive, doing a lot of damage. That axe kick does so much damage against uh, Neil. Like Neil like does not react to it properly, and uh, Ark is using that very well to his favor. Oh, Nilek tries to interrupt with the guard break, gets punished for that. That's not a great plan to do. Guard break are usually not the best inter uh, interrupts. Uh, 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 Nilek tried to heal, but silence was used. And Arch does take this round right here. And so this it's will two, be two. The last round. Yeah, this is the last round. Arch doing, Arch doing a really good comeback here. I guess he downloaded Neelak's deck here. Ooh, clean parry there by Neelak. Ark as low as stamina here. Wrong side of, uh, by Ark. Ooh, Neelak guesses wrong, jumps to jump out the elbow. That's not a great plan. Oof, oh, actually breaks guard, but Ark does not use that. He just backs up. Why the fuck my is my guard? My are getting airy. Please stop. Thank you. Uh, can you run over the commentary? <laughs> I got so surprised, like, what the fuck? Okay, so... Uh, Ark very low on that health bar, using heal, Neil like stopping that heal with the EQ. Oof, oof, inter jump out the elbow, gets a void. Both players low, but Neil like does take that in a clutch last second. Liver knee there. And Neil like does take this one in a Ooh. pretty close matches. All right, so yeah, Nalik wins. Yeah. Next up, we will have Hapo, which is one of the best, if not the best, maybe I'm the best, but <laughs> one of the best stagger players in the Are world. You, Hapo. Hapo is the best stagger player. You are the best player, period. So right now we have Hapo versus Aaron uh, coming to you Hype. right now. Hype indeed. Aaron versus Hapo. <laughs> First match. No, you're actually lagging again. Come on, Hapo, win for the stagger boys. I believe Hapo, do it for them staggers. Ooh, unlock, getting away from Aaron. Oh, Aaron using them the unlock. Oh, Aaron pulling out the unlock too. Oof, Aaron unlock. But uh, Hapo having that pressure advantage, but now low on that stamina. Ooh, that parry was clean. Clean parries by Aaron there. Oof. Oof, oh. uh, oof! Just a lot of oofs there. Just a lot of damage on Hapo by Eren. Eren oh. using them. EQ is getting a confirmed uppercut. Hapo trying to put uh, that pressure back. Eren low on that stamina. Ah, oh. uh, but that parry confirm is taking. <laughs> Eren taking any chance oh. he gets to do a little bit of BM. What would be South Tournament without some BM? Oh, so okay. first round goes to Eren. Hapo looks like has some connection issues a bit, but no, the unlock, it's, it's okay now. Okay, good, good. Hapo having the oh, that's an interesting uh, unlock there. <laughs> Even Eren said like, oh you, oh shit, you got Eren confused there with that unlock tech. You're pulling those okay. gloves out. You have the bear gloves. That's pretty cool. What? I know that's not the bear. That's the spirit guardian. Hapo trying to what? apply pressure with front stagger. Quite low on the health bar though. Oh, the, uh, the twisted parry stack coming in handy. Walks away with the unlock text to heal, trying to break oh. Eren's uh, heal with gravity. Oh, Eren doing that uh, squat. Oh, Oof. God. Oof, that, that. Oh, clean oh. side stagger by Hapo, but oh, not gonna be walking. Oh, what? Well. Oof. Should have let those side staggers go there. Probably. Yeah. Eren takes. Wait a fucking. 
Uh, come on, Hapo, just concentrate. I, for it some reason, press B. I believe Hapo. Oh. I, oof. Okay. Oof. I believe. Ooh, nice stamina damage with that pushback kick. Oh, well, Aaron picks up oh, that god. weapon. Oh Oof. god. Oh god. No. A lot of pressure by Aaron here. EQ guy gets that confirmed. That wood that that wood and oh, stick does cut damage for some reason. That's quite interesting. <laughs> Oof, you can hear the cut sounds there. Ooh, oh, that unlock so clean by Aaron there. Oh. It looked like he was what? Oof. What? Please stop. Oh! Capo gets caught with the wooden stick. Because... Game. Let me stick this wrong, dude. Yeah. Uh, Pulls out the gloves and gloves to punch Aaron uh, in the face. Let's see. Come on. Oh! No. Wooden no. stick breaks, but... Hapo does not have that pre Oh! Aaron wrong direction, Fairy there. Um, but he gets that Twisted Perry. Oh, what? Oh, this time that Twisted Perry jump elbow does connect. Aaron picks up uh, Hapo's gloves. Ooh, pushback kick. Pushback kick, step what? cancel, very strong. Sidekicks do not connect. Sidekicks oh, okay. do not connect, sadly. No, uh, Hapo still has a chance here. Backs oh. away, heals. Aaron has the time to emote disrespect. As usual. Ooh! Oh, that parry the parrying the ju uh, rush attack. Very clean there by Aaron. Hapo trying to mix it up with some fades, but looks like Aaron's gonna step cancel. Ooh! But ha uh, Hapo does do a good mix up with his side staggers. But oh, Aaron just okay. gonna wall up him to death. And Aaron takes this fight. Oh, now, Collector won against Ocean, so I need to. Win it for the stagger boys. Yeah. Collector's call versus Justice, who is still playing stagger. Yeah. I I got the fears that the Justice would switch, but looks like he's still staying as our stagger boy. Ooh, high! So much high damage by holy sh j half of yeah. Collector's HP bot just literally gone in the first two seconds of the game. Oh wow! Oof. Uh, you can't mess around with Justice's deck, he has so much high damage here. But I guess fast attacks would interrupt Justice here. EQ going down, but did not buff that. And Collector does go down to Justice, who has the most highest damage deck, I think, in the tournament. Heck yeah. No, it's just uh, one combo. Yeah, that one combo is insane. It does literally half his age, but if, uh, if it connects. I when I was fighting against yesterday. Yeah. yeah. That combo is really good. If it connects, it just destroys anyone. <laughs> Ooh! That does connect. Collector just backs off in fear. But does apply a lot of uh, pressure against Justice now. Justice turning it back with Front Saga. But Collector not happy about it. But EQ is coming about by two above players. But Justice EQ is in the worst moment when Collector uses a jump out elbow. The only EQ counter. Kind of. Oh, Rathers and guard, guard break attacks too. Collect- Ooh, Justice missed times that uh, backstack got- But breaks, Collector's guard anyways. Applying pressure, but that interrupt comes- Ooh, Collector missed times! Collector literally zero HP and he does fall to Justice. Justice bring it for the Staga people. Taking <coughs> two rounds right. in a row. But Justice kinda low health bar here. Only half health bar, can't he- can he get this round or will Collector deck? Ooh, Collector oh angry taking out these claws here. The, his claw, uh, his uh, claw deck looks a bit faster, so might interrupt his slow, adjust his slow attacks. Collector does, both players use EQ, EQ the EQ. Oof, a lot of fast interrupt by, uh, by Collector. Applying good pressure against Justice. Justice does enough and just EQs the boy, knocking off his gloves, but Justice literally zero no. HP. Missed times that backstagger and falls to the collector. Okay. Collector using. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Um, is that legal? I'm not sure. <laughs> no, it's not technically, but I think. I don't, he, yeah. I don't think he did it on purpose and he had full HP anyway. Just okay. don't fight, don't fight next to the altar. I mean, I didn't try to. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's just like the altar makes weird things happen. 
Justice has enough of those fast interrupts and just starts spawn staggering as you should against those fast interrupts. Ooh, but Collecta has a clean absorb against that heavy though. If Collecta can get his timing down, he might do a comeback here. Justice angry pulls out his sword. Ooh, but Collecta does bring the pressure back with his interrupts. Oof, Justice trying to back off. Does no, not successful. Collector e EQs, but Justice brings that EQ back. Breaks, he uses them, guard breaks. Oof. Pushes Collector against the wall. Collector misplays here. Oh, clutch absorbed by Collector. Literally zero HP, no, and Collector takes it with zero HP. Round round four by Yo, Collector. This is rigged. Rigged as fuck, man. You're, you're the owner of the car, like, you're the second host though, not the owner of the second host though. Collector gives back the sword, ooh, okay. Disrespecting. Nice. Man, I think Collector getting a little bit full of himself since he's uh, like low health bar here. Giving back the sword to the stagger boy with the right... Justice has one of the best sword decks I've seen around, so I will not do that. But Collector does apply good pressure here. Clean, clean absorbs it and that EQ by both players. But just as EQ is in the worst timing when Collector uses a jump light kick here. Collector applies good pressure. Ooh, wrong direction by Justice. Collector seems to having the upper hand, but Justice. Ooh, bad EQ gets punished by Justice and Justice takes this round. Oh, that was so risky of me. Yeah, that was hella risky though. <laughs> Collector EQ'd very weirdly there, he was out of range to confirm anything. So, but Justice has a little bit less health bar here, I think it's half, yeah. So half of health bar can Justice, ooh, did not try to even react to that jump out elbow. Uh, Justice low on that health, uh, stamina bar. Applying good stack, kind of pressure with that wall of... Ooh, clean manual dodge out of that heavy, gaining back that stamina. By Justice, ooh, that was not a good front saga there. Justice taking a lot of damage. The collector applying good pressure. Justice has to use that EQ to get out of that pressure. Just literally zero HP, and he does go for to the collector. Ah, uh, fuck. Who wins this one? Wins the matches. Wait, he won. No, nah, who wins? It? Who wins this? Oh. One? Who wins this round? Mate, it's three three. Yeah, man. <laughs> not native, not native, not native, dog. It's hard. Okay. So, Justice versus Collector. Who wins this round? Who wins it all? Oh, Collector starts it off with a good start, but Justice already flips the pressure using the Blade Blade tactics very efficiently. Oh, too early. Side stack at there. Does get punched out of it. But while trying to wall up step cancel. Ooh, Collector miss absorbs. Missed the timing. But Justice also missed the timing on oh, that jump out elbow. Gets punished. Oof. Wall up does it. Ooh, Justice still missing those uh, jump out elbow timings. Getting punished. Both players using their EQs. Oh, Justice missed times. It's back like a third time. Oh, oh the fourth time. And Justice falls. Too much missed times. Making just as At least I don't need to fight terrible now. <laughs> Urubu versus Caillou. Both really good windfalls. Let's see who will who will prevail here. Caillou coming in with the initial aggression, but Guru by trying to turn back that pressure. Ooh, clean dodge there by Caillou, breaking Uru's guard. Applying good damage onto Uru. Both very decent windfall players. Yeah, both very good windfall players. I would say one of the tops windfalls. Definitely one of the yeah. tops. U Uru just st standing still and left the game. What the fuck? What? I guess Kai wins the game. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> no, he, um. Urudu, oh fuck, he's rooted and deafened. What? Um, well, well, that's kind of unfair. If he comes back, I will have to slap him in the face a bit to even it out for Caillou. Just heal them both to fall, maybe. 
No, but that's kind of unfair to Caillou since he was kind of winning this. I feel like they were. I don't know. And I, uh, but okay, maybe. Like there should be some kind of punish for this. Like you can't just leave. Yeah, maybe you... just lose the round. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So Caillou takes this round. Oh, oops. Declare as enemy. And let's continue. So round two. Caillou takes first round because Uru DC. They like to fight next to Alta because I guess they like to get stuck to next to it. Or they hate good camera angles. Caillou trying to mix him up with the sidekick startup. Interrupting that pushback kick and has a EQ so early in the fight. Wow, okay. <laughs> Sidekick. <laughs> Oof. Uru applying good pressure here. Oof. A lot of damage. I have fucking hate that three here. I can't see shit. Uh, Uru low on that uh, stamina. No, mine is already back to full. Caillou EQ trying to apply pressure, but Uru does the same and reverses that pressure. Pushback kick lands, but clean dodge there by Caillou. Oof, Caillou trying to mix up with some fate game. Uru just stands there and lets. Ooh, clean dodge there by Caillou. Uh, to be honest, oof. the patch, the patch that really wants an absolve is to get rid of those trees. Yes, please. Uru just standing still. It has 10 seconds to rewind. Remove these and maybe give us a spectator mode. That's the real patch I want. So Udo takes an arm too. Yeah, you guys can fight. Ah, oh, right, alarm. Stop. <laughs> I decided I forgot about it. So Caillou applying that initial pressure, but Udo already switching it. Caillou tries to dock that pushback kick, gets punished. Oof, side kick does go. Pushback kick breaks, breaks the guard. Oof. I disabled alarms, there should not be any alarms left. Oof, Kai trying to doubt that pushback pick again. Does, oh, Kai Udo interrupts, uh, guard break confirms, break guard. Oof, both players using that EQ, guard break confirms. A lot of guard breaks thrown out by blow players, but Udo takes it here and takes round three. In a very close, like Udo, the both players were quite low health by then. If Caillou, yeah, if Caillou could have gotten an interrupt there, I think he would have taken this round. But Uru got good, got the better, better start there. Ooh, clean fade game by Caillou, mixing up Uru and uh, doing the initial aggression. Both players low on that stamina, but Caillou has more health bar to. Oof, car broke. Ooh, a lot of damage by Uru. On Caillou there. Clean side side dodge guard break confirmed by Caillou here. Applying good pressure, but Uru does the same. Does a lot of damage to Caillou. Caillou does not uh, react properly there, but does have that EQ to back him up. Caillou, uh, Uru literally 0 H health bar. Caillou cannot get an interrupt to finish him buff. Oof, wait, is Uru gonna, oh, I was thinking if Uru gonna get that, but Caillou does get this one. But does, does take a little um, bit more down. Caillou took so much damage. Yeah, that. Caillou took a little bit too much more, too much damage there, as would be nice since Uru was very low health button. Uru doing the initial aggression, Caillou not able to use that heal very much. Actually breaking Caillou's guard here. Oof. Clean a uh, uh, dark there by Caillou. Oof! Caillou gets smacked in the face though. But already back on that aggression. EQs that high damage ability attack here. Step cancel, starting to mix up Uru, but Uru does not like that. Caillou literally zero HP. Oof. Uru just trying Oh, a little bit too early by Caillou Caillou there. Tries to die at Judge Pushback King. And Uro takes this round. And if Uro takes the next round, he wins the match. But Kai can still do a pretty good comeback here. It's still going out. It's not it's not it's not the loser bracket, right? Yeah, this is not the loser's bracket. So Uro still has to win one more, or Kai has to win two. Both players trying to find a good opening. Uro is starting with that initial uh, aggression. 
Poor PPK, step cancels, do a lot of damage. Caillou trying to duck the front kick. Oof! Wrong reactions by Caillou here, getting punished severely. Oof! Axe kick here, yeah. does a lot of damage. Caillou has enough of that and EQs, applying good pressure here. PBK connects against Suru, doing a lot of stamina damage. Oof! Oh! Caillou paints his EQ punish for some reason. Quite interesting place here. Yeah. Uru, <laughs> Uru having a good pressure here and does take down Caillou at the end. So 4-2 goes to Uru. Hi, GG. Caillou is still not out. He will fight Ocean Dersus in the yeah. round in match There's 19. Ometra versus Vestblad. Let's see how the lag's gonna be since Ometra is an NA boy. What, what best player's playing this time? Best player Windfall this time, not Forsaken. He's changing every single time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof, Ometra yeah. playing good initial aggression here. Is he gonna go stagger at the end? Oh, Pleb hates stagger though, he never plays. That would be yeah. kinda cool. Go go one, uh, one throw stagger. Just for the... Just for the shit stuff, would be fun. <laughs> clean dodges by Pleb here. Applying good pressure. Oof, just clean damage against Ometra. Ometra not reacting correctly and falls to pest Pleb. Oof. Just clean damage by Pleb here. Ometra not reacting correctly. And now just standing still. I guess maybe the A A NA AU lags a bit too much. Or is it? Okay, no, he's good. Yeah, he's it is like. Looks like the crossplay lag has increased, but like the local lag is less. So that's good and bad. Maybe next salt should not be crossplay, but let's see. Oof, afterwards gonna do a survey. A lot of damage actually by Ometra, even with the lag, applying good damage against Pleb here. But Pleb... Ooh, clean dodge there by Ometra. Oof, sidekicks connecting against Pleb, but Pleb does a very clean uh, duck here. Applying good damage against the metro, reversing that pressure and taking that round. Good job, Pleb. Oh yeah, Metro, close your stream if you have it open, that might help. Yeah, uh, streams, especially if you have it like on high, how it's called, uh, quality, it kind of make it You only loud. have one option, Chris. Oh, Real? Yeah. Uh, doesn't affiliate mode give you more options though? I have no idea, but I can only select uh, one option for you. Oof, rip. Never mind that. I thought the field gives you more, multiple options. I think it's to do with your streaming settings. Might be. I don't know. Um, the sword has been pulled out. Pleb has it. And Pleb applying good pressure with it, cutting up on, on Metro. But Metro already low health by here. Clean dodge there by Pleb. Good faint game and good finish there. Pleb takes round three. Oof. Initial aggression by Pleb here, applying good pressure against Ometra. Good feint game also by Pleb, but Ometra catches him out and breaks his guard. Does decent damage against him, but Pleb step cancelling. Oof, step cancelling that hook, applying really strong pressure against Ometra here. M misses that dodge window, but doesn't matter. And Ometra, I mean, Pleb takes the fourth round and takes this match in a very Whoa. clean fight. So yeah, Pleb is actually dominating everyone in the tournament so far, just like Eren is. So we'll see them in the finals, perhaps, if Maybe. unless someone else takes a win against them. There could be an upset. So here's the bracket. So Hapo versus Neil. Let like, right me go again. Sure. Is it laggy so, for him? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you're not teleporting this time, so let's... Oh no, you're, you're a bit shaky on my screen. But not that bad. If too many buffering? Too much buffering? Yeah. Maybe. Sure so. Could be. So, Nilek versus Hapo. Round 1, let's go! So yeah, Nilek is the windfall dude. Oof, wrong, wrong side start, oh, side dive of this. Oh god. Oof! There it was, Good. there it was my Go ahead. That did a lot of damage to Hapo, but Hapo applying good pressure here. Ooh, that unlock tech, but I need like a uh, Shinpan 
step cancel does what? connect anyways. Hapo backstaggering, he's got guard break, but Neil like waiting for oh. an opportunity to interrupt Pounds, okay. finds it. Oof! Hapo getting damaged. Okay. Oh my god, I'm... oh god. Oof! Wrong, oh, wrong, god. wrong dodges by Hapo and Neil like oh. takes this round. Shit. If double mid thrust. Yeah, gotta be hard, hard to dodge those. So round two, Hapo versus Nilek. Come on, Hapo. We believe you, Hapo. I don't. No, <laughs> we do though, we do. Hapo applying good pressure here against Nilek. Nilek using rollback fist, getting it out of it though. Oh, Oof. God. Wrong dodges there by Hapo, getting punished. Oh Oof. god, Garbrick. Garbrick landing, doing massive damage against Hapo. Hapo very low here. Oof, Garbrick doing lots of stamina damage. Neil like using them EQ confirms, oh breaking the oh, guard oh, of Hapo oh. and taking the round. Neil like takes round two. Okay. Hapo, no! He can still do a comeback here. He has to, like, Neil has to win one, but Hapo can do a comeback. I've seen that before. Oh I mean, my god. I have seen that before as well, but. Uh, oof. Uh, and they're like countering Hapo's every move here. Oh, oof. Yeah. I'm messing up really bad yeah. on this one. And a bit of a choke by Hapo, like dodge, not dodging some abilities. Oh god. Neil like using EQ very nicely, interrupting Hapo's heal. Hapo applying that pressure now, but Neil like turning that pressure back with okay. them. Grab punches. Oof. What? Side Saga is getting dodged by. Uh, wall up because it has an intended feature. <laughs> LOL. Oh, rocks. God damn it. Oh, oh. Well, it does counter. No, side staggers. Uh, it dodges though, not counter. Oh, yeah. Side staggers. Oof. Roll back fist. Oh, PVK. Ah, oh. he jumped it and he like to took, took the round. That was a clean oh. dodge there. Okay. Good job, Apple. So Justice versus Ziga, both Stagger boys live to you right now. Hey, Stagger girls, excuse me. Ah yeah, Stagger, <laughs> right, right. Forgot, forgot. Oof, let's go. Round one. Ziga 3-0 already. Oof, nice. Justice cutting her up, using the, the environment swords. Oof. Wait, she's not fighting. The fuck? And she disconnected. Easy. Yay! <laughs> so first round goes to Justice. Unless you mess up like so, Sega says she's sorry, she can't fight. Tell Justice I'm so sorry too. Caillou versus Ocean. This should be another next month Melon Curse. So just join my Discord if you haven't already to find out the latest news about tournaments. Yes. Do that. No problem. So Caillou doing the in this show initial aggression here ocean to turn trying to turn it back are you trying to oof ocean I mean, doing a general. lot of damage come on ocean ocean low on that stamina but Caillou also not doing that good in the time my game oof Caillou applying good pressure here but running out of that stamina miss avoids two times in a row oof Caillou getting punched by ocean both players have equal health boss here. Oof, Chin Palm connects against Ocean here. Caillou trying to find an opening, does not find it though, but does a lot of damage with that axe kick, but Ocean is the one who breaks a guard. Oof, but never mind, Caillou retaliates with a guard break of his own. And does a lot of damage, Ocean literally on a zero health bar. Anything will kill him, and that slide does kill him, and Caillou takes round one. Oof. Oof. Oof indeed. Honestly, I believe that Kai has more chance of winning than Ocean just because of how much more experience he has in the game, but I really want Ocean to win just for the Stagger boys. Yes, uh, Kai is more experienced, but but sometimes it's... But I believe in the Ocean, the Stagger boy. Oof, if Kai keeps miss dodging like that, Ocean has a chance then. Oof. Caillou trying to interrupt, gets punched because of that. No fast interrupts right here. Clean dodge there. 
Caillou has them parry strike timings down. He can dodge them really good right now. Oof, but uh, Omer, fuck. <laughs> Ocean doing a really good intro with that parry strike there. Coming in handy. Ocean miss, uh, miss timing his side stack is getting punched in the face. Oof, nice interrupts there by Caillou. But does not dodge the pushback, he gets punched in the face. But has full stamina bar here, applying good pressure against Ocean. Oof. Both players just locking and holding, staring each other down. Both, any punch can kill any one of them. Oof, Caillou going the safe route with them. EQ confirmed, staking this round. Wait, that, that's it, right? Or did Caillou win uh, two rounds? It's up to three. Three, three, so, three wins, right? Yeah, Caillou took two rounds. Okay. Yeah, that was two. Okay, okay. For yeah. some reason, I thought that was the third one. So, Caillou very low on that health bar. O Ocean uh, putting some initial aggression, but then blocking. Caillou clean dodges that, but does not get an interrupt. And Ocean does a lot of damage to Caillou. Caillou does not have the health bar to deal with this, and he does go down. Ocean saying, have a good morning to Caillou while taking the victory for that round. <laughs> Friendly chat in a uh, friendly chat, uh, friendly players both bowing and everything. So, Ocean doing the initial aggression and the parry strike, though, not parry strike stopping Caillou's aggression. Oof, Caillou taking, blocking that guard break. Oof, and mistiming his side avoids uh, and gets just punished. Oof, good interrupt, good pressure by Ocean right here. Oh, Caillou doing that wallop, but Ocean dodging it with uh, a drunken paw here. Up Ooh, breaking Caillou's guard. Ocean applying good pressure. Caillou already uh, half hit health bar, but Caillou getting angry, applying some pressure back. Oof, missed dodges by Caillou, and Ocean can do some good damage, but Caillou do does reverse that flow with um, EQs. Cleans uh, dodges by Caillou here. A lot of EQs going down by Caillou, applying good pressure. Axe does connect, does a lot of damage to Ocean. But Ocean not giving back. Ooh, Caillou literally is in HP, Lord. Ocean trying uh, EQ, but not confirm. So Ocean, but that Ocean still takes the round very close. 2-2 two, two now, this could be anyone's game. And yes. whoever loses this is out of the tournament completely. So this game is very important for both of them to win. Yes. And Ocean does have a health disadvantage here, but not that much to be honest. The health disadvantage is like one or two punches. Caillou rushing him down, applying that aggression. Nice, clean, hop them. Ooh, so many clean dodges there by Caillou. And does that EQ. Caillou playing really good pressure. Ocean, oof, nice dodges there by Caillou. Oh, nice interrupt that uh, interrupts that heavy attack. Caillou just playing very cleanly right here. Ocean already at hat help bar, but does not dodge that guard break, but clean interrupt on the Draken bar. Oof, breaks uh, Ocean's guard. Caillou playing really good pressure here. EQ, guard break confirms. Caillou tries to uh, duck. Uh, now jump, uh, Drunken Pa there. And uh, tries to jump, uh, handstand kick. Not a very good plan here. Oof. Uh, Caillou starting to crumble under the pressure. Looks like dodging very oddly. Ocean trying to get the initial strike there, but Shin Pound's stack cancels are very strong. Axe kick does make, but Caillou going to save route with them. EQ confirms taking this round. Guys, it was a pleasure. Thanks for hosting and. Uh... Good rounds there, Ocean. Uh, thank you so much for playing your tournament. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Good. See Thanks for playing. Well played, dude. Well played. Yeah. So, Ametra versus Validiot happening right now. I do this so I can highlight it later. Uh, so, okay. So, let me reset the rounds. Oof. Children screaming in the background to hype up Validian on Ametra. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 no problem, man. No problem. Ometra applying really good pressure against Validian here. Oof. But Validian putting back the pressure here. Ometra failing to avoid. Oof. Oh, get slapped, uh, hooked. Ometra 
gets hooked here, but uh, he starts to apply pressure back. But Validian does not care and pressures him right back. Applying really good pressure, but now he's kind of out of a stamp here. And Nometra can turn this around a bit. Oof! Perry's in the wrong! Perry's oh, in the wrong! Perry that fucking pushback Wait, I have to alt up real quick. I can't see. Look. I have to alt up. I can't see I'll the scores. So Meta takes round one in a very close match there. Validian, okay. Validian does not... Uh, Validian pressure too much with now thinking about stamina there. Uh, no Meta capitalized that. But Meta now does not have that much help but, and he's trying to... Uh, trying to be, be push back his start as uh, Validians are playing pressure. That's not a great idea. But... It kind of works out, I guess. Or met Validian oh, breaks guard, but the uh, terrain stops Validian from buffering <laughs> attacks because RNG is the best, and Validian takes this second round. The NA boy is winning against the other NA boy, so I yes. hope the NA boy wins. To be honest, because I'm I'm cheering for the NA boy, but I'm not sure the other NA boy is pretty good. <laughs> the NA boys. <laughs> It feels like neither of us can really like do anything like defensive wise unless it's a slower attack. Like to do like the, there's a lot of pressure by about those slower attacks. Since if they hit they do hella damage. And Validian applying good pressure why the fuck are you not marked as enemies anymore? What the fuck? It just stopped marking you you both went as allies for some reason. <laughs> Alrighty. Validian having that health advantage. Oof, but clean right, dodge! That was such a clean dodge there, Biometra applying good pressure. Oof, uh, push back a glance two times in a row. But now Ometra does not have that stamina and gets slapped by Validian here. Validian applies good pressure. Ometra trying to counter but will not be successful and Validian takes the third round. Oh, just one more and Validian has the victory. Yeah. Oh, but Ameta now playing around, pulling out the sword, applying good pressure. Validian not reacting very well, getting cut up, but good parry there at the that end. That attack is but... way faster than you think it is. Yeah, that one, the, the one attack is like I see in every single sword deck. Validian <laughs> does knock out Ameta's sword and applies good pressure here, but does not have enough stamina. But Ometa is not uh, capitalizing. Validian breaks the guard and breaks Ometa, yeah. taking the third. I didn't just Te break his guard, I broke him Metro. Yeah, you, you broke him completely. So yes. Justice versus Nilek. Stagger versus Windy Boy. Nilek actually coming on on top of a lot, on lot of the fights. Pretty good win for Stag uh, But Justice, the best player known to man, uh, limiting himself on the Stagger. Can he bring Stagger to its glory and show that Stagger is best race? Let's see. Uh, good, uh, good pressure. That blade blade uh, does a lot of pressure there. Oof! Breaks the guard. Oh! <laughs> out of rage. Uh, Nilak does not get his stamina regain for some what? reason. Oh, oh, there he has stamina bug, but he's back now. Um. Oof. Ka oof! He put back. It gets interrupted by Nilak, but just as applying good pressure. Oof! But uh, gets. Gets, uh, how's it called? Interrupted. Oof. I say a lot of oofs, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just noticed. noticed. And more oofs than usual. <laughs> oh. Justice, very low health bar here. Trying to do this, uh, wall up step counters. Ah! Not really that successful. Uh, gets punched in the face for that. And they like takes round one. And runs away and runs back. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Ja okay. Nilek just playing very solid here, applying good pressure, interrupting Justice, but can Justice bring it back? Nice feint there by Justice, applying good pressure. Nilek does die, have a clean dodge there. A wallop interruption. Oof! Backstagger does not hit there, wallop there, and. But Justice doesn't matter, Justice breaks the guard and applies beautiful pressure against Nilek, but. He's running out of that stamina, but he has that EQ as a stamina buffer. Oof. Front stagger to secure the win. Justice takes the second okay. round. Already doing better than Apple. 
Oof. Yeah, true though. Alpha did choke that I did not avoid cleanly. You're doing better pressure wise. Ooh. Grab punch it though. Grab punch. Nearly like bringing it back. Please, nerf. Oh. Try, uh, just is trying to play the uh, faint game. Nilek like, does not care. He just buffs his attacks. No mind games working against Nilek. Like, just has to. Oh, that BM healed though by Justice. No. Uh, and Nilek like, does not like that. He cues and takes round three. If Nilek like, takes this one, he takes everything. Eggwave is very annoying. True, I agree. Okay. So if Nilek like, takes this one, he take, takes. <laughs> Isn't Absolver just that? Justice applying a lot of blade blade pressure, just spinning around. Nilek does not know what to do, gets his guard broken, but Justice does not have uh, any stamina to counter that heal. Oh, Nilek clean! Doctor applies good pressure. I love Crane, crane, crane. Yeah, Crane Punch always dodges Backstagger. You can't hit Crane Punch with Backstagger. It's so annoying. It's like in the be like intentional bugs are the best bugs. Like what the fuck, slope them. Ghost changes and intentional bugs. Slope up everybody. Justice not reacting correctly to Nilex pressure. Um, Nilex, uh, oof, Nilex does not dodge that heavy damage though. EQ uh, interrupts here. Going out. Ooh, God, grab punch it, breaks the guard, and secures the win. Nilek takes it. Nilek playing very solid, to be honest. Like, I'm surprised, like, how solid it is. Please, nerf earthquake. Kaiu, very tall, actually, just noticed. He's out of frame there, what the fuck? <laughs> Kaiu Mero versus Validian. First round. This is still the loser's bracket, so whoever takes three rounds wins the matches. The match. I fought this guy, I think, a couple days ago, so I was expecting a running attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking he's gonna do a running attack too. Oof. Caillou applying good pressure here, but Validian already turning it back around. A good interrupt there by Caillou. Oof. Validian parries the wrong side, gets punished by that. Axe does connect against Validian. Caillou is on a stamina disadvantage here. Oof. Verdicts the uh, uh, good paints by Validian. Caillou can dodge as a feint and gets punished for that. Caillou again, Validian feint game on point here, punishing Caillou. Caillou using that EQ confirms here to apply pressure. Oof. Validian applying good pressure here. Caillou very low on that stamina bar and does get broken. He has literally zero HP here and he does get killed by Validian in round Caillou's one. Caillou's height advantage doesn't seem to be <clears throat> such an advantage since Validian is just going in and leaving. And this Caillou camera is making him look much shorter. I don't know what's going on here. I was, I was, I was like, he's going to do the running attack. He's getting ready for it and then he doesn't do it. He, he, he faints the running attack mentally, just stops running. The height advantage does not come in handy because Validian does apply good pressure, but Caillou is still applying pressure back now. Both players very low on that stamina bar. Caillou, oof, Validian parries the wrong side, tries to get away from that pressure, is not successful, but Caillou does not have enough stamina here. Or does he? Oof, wrong side, gets punched. Oof, Caillou gets pressure down, but finally gets a good duck dodge. Can apply some pressure. Validian very low on that health bar and stamina. Ooh, Caillou disrespect here right in front of your face. What you gonna do about it, boy? I'm a back dodge. There's Both players no, do not have stamina. Validian a bit lower on the health bar, but Validian is the one applying the pressure. Caillou cannot find an opening, but Validian doesn't run out of stamina. Caillou does not apply pressure, even though Validian is out of stamina. Very. Oh, both EQ at the same time, almost lol. But Caillou's EQ came out Rip faster, EQ. and Caillou Actually, gets the round. That, that wasn't. I didn't EQ. Oh, what? Yeah. I, I saw two. I, I saw two EQs though. There was only one. No. I just saw the stream. Oh, oof, brain glitch then. Never mind. Ooh, clean pushback with by Caillou there. Avoid. Ooh. That parry though, okay, Validian also applying some clean parries, both players, uh, double silence there by Validian, not wanting Caillou to use EQ. 
Caillou does not have that EQ to escape the pressure. Validian trying to psych out Caillou, but he's kind of losing that stamina game right now. Both players actually very low on the stamina bar. Caillou does not have that health bar too as well though. Validian's health bar looking more healthy here. Oof, sidekick does connect against Validian, but Validian dodges cleanly. Caillou's attack here and wins round three. If Validian wins this round, he wins the whole match. Well, well, Caillou has a small health advantage. Never mind, that's already gone. Um, Caillou applying the pressure, but uh, already gets turned by Validian. Validian throwing out parries, misses that, gets punished. Caillou trying to. Oof, uh, faints the knockback. Uh, ooh, in Caillou interrupts, but does not continue. No, he does still. Never mind. Uh, Validian trying to apply pressure, but Caillou interrupts that with his EQ. And applies pressure back, slowdowns from the manual dodges apply on Caillou, but Caillou does not care, he applies pressure even though he's low on that health. Oh, okay. Uh, interesting bow there, mid fight, sure. Validian. Oof. Validian oh, do does do fall spin. down. Oh, I meant to do low spin here there. Uh, oh. Rip. Well, Lydian looks like how the stance changed and could not do his move and loses to Caillou. So whoever wins this round wins the match. Caillou is exactly. starting on a health disadvantage here. Ooh, clean uh, uh, jump there by Caillou, getting that garbage confirmed on Validian. Validian using silence, so Caillou cannot use his EQ. Oof, try Caillou. Trying to uh, do a sidekick interrupt not, is not successful. Validian dodging all of Caillou's interrupts, applying very good pressure, but running out of that stamina, but does not matter because lands a clean parry. Caillou trying to apply pressure while Validian low on stamina is not successful. Validian gains back that stamina. Caillou's in a very bad spot, does not have any health bar at all, but can. No, he cannot. Validian does take in very close matches. All right, so now it's going to be a pretty hype match, but I, I would say everyone will win this. You never know. You never he hasn't know. lost a single match in every single tournament he played on, so... Yeah, but... Hey, an upset's always out possible, though. <laughs> Oof, some BM by both players. Let go, Collector versus... Eren. Eren trying to do that jump out elbow feint is not successful. Collector does not fall for that and applies good pressure. Collector going on defensive, but Eren does not like that. Oof! Jump out elbow does hit Eren though. Eren does clean parry there on the check and jump out elbow. Oof! Collector applying good pressure but does not manage his stamina very well. Uh, gets punched in the face with random sidekicks. Eren trying to do a hook, but does... Ooh! Clean parry there by Eren on, from an EQ, take almost confirm, and Eren does take the round. Come on, Collector, I really need you to end this, just because... Uh, it's Collector? I thought it's Collector. Oh, well, I don't I know. I suck at pronouncing nation. You know what? Let's just call him. Call I just cholesterol. Cholesterol. <laughs> Oof. Hey, wait! That uppercut just disappeared. EQ confirms disappearing. Let's go. Cole uh, Aaron trying to apply <laughs> pressure uh, against cholesterol. <laughs> Oof! Mi both players BM in a bit. I love this. I need more of this. Oh, collector EQ healing does not let Aaron have any any of that collector yeah. doing some collateral damage oh yeah he actually is getting uh, Aaron pretty low but Aaron does a very clean parry there and pushback kick tracking tracks through that side avoid and uh, uh, Aaron is in a bad spot here oh but he does a parry a heal uh, putting on some BM here oof but that BM does not pay off since he loses to Collector in round two. Come on, this is actually a possible upset. So, come on, chat, support. I Kyle believe. Toro or whatever his name is. And... Collector. We know that cults can tilt any good player. So, 
Maybe Aaron's gonna get tilted by our collector here. Aaron trying to psych him out with the upper uh, wall of paint. Uh, Aaron has the initial punch, but collector is the one applying pressure. Aaron f parries, but collector does not uh, capitalize on that failed parry. And try collector applying EQ. Hey, a, a collector fails his EQ confirm, and Aaron instantly going on the aggressive, flying a lot of damage. Bishback kick misses. Uh, collector uh, landing that jump out elbow on that EQ. Aaron timing that EQ very horribly, but now he's applying pressure against a uh, collector. He cannot collect as very low on that health bar, and we will fall to Aaron in round three. Very close match to apart from yeah. the ending when Aaron just played super safe and Collector out got playing. Yeah, very and close match see there. How are the rest of the rounds go? Yeah, Aaron has to win two more and Collector three more. Uh, both players doing a little MO dance, PMing each other. <laughs> the the mind games going strong by both players. Who will squat last? Eren has enough and attacks first. Uh, Collector all, uh, trying to interrupt is not quite successful. Eren backing off, trying to find a good opening. It does not get. They try to do faint, faints, but just rushes uh, Collector down. Clean parry there by Eren, applying good pressure. But uh, Collector trying to turn around. Ooh. That feint's not working against Eren. Eren reads through all. Eren sees your mind. And he... Both players seal. Collector gets, gets that emote in. So Collector has that mind game advantage right here. Wallop does land. So Eren has that heal going. But fails parry again. But Collector just does not capitalize on the failed parries. But does break Eren's guard right there. So, but again, Collector just uses an emote. But is good for mind games, but does not apply any pressure, even though he could have uh, broken Aaron's guard there. So, mind game damage over in game damage is an interesting choice by Collector. Both players choosing to fight at the fucking worst spot ever, and Aaron <laughs> takes <laughs> second place. Second, uh, fourth round, I mean. Doing some lap and move. really needs to rethink his game in order to win against Severn because Aaron has Ow. seemed to Collector be... left. Oh, he left? Yeah. I think he thought it's over. Well, the, fuck? the boy left, but he left oh, yeah. and he died. That does count as a loss we agreed. But... Yeah, like if a player disconnects or leaves, he counts yeah. as a loss. That's a good point. So I guess Severn wins. Yeah. Since, uh, or else that could be abused, like per, per person about the force and says, Oh, Lord, never mind, and tries to get back in. That's like right there. just it's an outplay by Aaron making Fink Collector lost the game and leaving. Yeah, Aaron may uh, control, Aaron losing Jedi mind tricks, thinking, making uh, a collector think that he uh, was um, in a loser's bracket, but now he actually <laughs> is in the loser's bracket. <laughs> Aaron is just on another level. We're he's living in 2018, but he's in like 3,427. Aaron using Jedi mind tricks. He's actually a living Jedi. Just we don't understand it yet. Let's see which class does play pull out this time. Forsaken, Cult, or Windfall. He plays them all. So, Uru Why versus Pleb right now. Because Stagger's trash. <laughs> kind of, <Yeah>. sadly. <laughs> I, I I want it not to be, but it is sadly. From uh, from like from looking at everything, it's just not good. Sadly, I can go in more detail, but I already did last stream, and that was salty as fuck. <laughs> so we have enough salt as it is in this tournament. Fleb applying that uh, aggression instantly, doing a lot of damage against Zuru. But everybody loves this play, uh, loves this spot because it's the worst spot for the cameraman. I really appreciate that, guys. Keep fighting here. Um, Udo uh, turning the pressure around to Pleb. But Pleb does not care, even though he has no stamina. Walks, uh, Udo trying to break that guard, but Pleb finds an opening. And, oof, clean dodge by Pleb here. Pleb is going as a windfall, but Udo does get the guard back punish and 
uh, how it's called Uru trying to do a BM heal and does get punished by Pleb. Pleb is out windfalling the windfall. Let's see if he's gonna go for Saken against Eren if he wins this game, which is looking like it's going to be so. But you never know, Euro can come back just now. Yeah, uh, maybe if Euro donuts Pleb's deck, he can do a comeback. But Pleb applying huge pressure right now. But he's always low on that stamina bar, so if uh, Uru Ur could apply, uh, break his guard and do some high damage here. He's trying to land those guard breaks, but Pleb is just not letting him, and Uru is suffering for that. Be Oof, clean side dodges by Pleb, applying good pressure, Uru doing them EQ, confirms, does not do that much damage against Pleb, but Pleb is lower on the health bar. Pleb responding with the EQ of his own, but does block because he knew Uru is gonna try to EQ, and Uru does not get any confirms, and Pleb gets all the confirms, and he confirms the second round. And that is confirmed. Confirmed is confirmed. The confirms are confirmed. Doing the Jarbash uh, uh, starter. Pleb is doing the Jarbash starter. Jarbash has insane reach. But Uru trying to switch the guard. Uru is still trying to land guard breaks. But Pleb just keeps dodging it. Ooh, Pleb does the dodge manual. Dodging all pressure by Uru. Applying high pressure against them. Oof. Oof, but Uru, Uru does get some damage in, uh, breaks uh, Pleb's EQ with that garbage. Uh, applies high, Pleb applying high damage against Uru right now. Both players very low on that health bar. Pleb is a bit lower, but now he has the, uh, he has the uh, host called pressure advantage, but not anymore. And Uru gets this third round. This is one of the highest... Uh Windful gameplays I've ever seen to be honest. Yeah, they're both both playing very greatly here. Udo trying to go for that guard break stat, but Pleb is going for a more genetic strat. And looks like Pleb's strat is working out, but Udo did get that round, but looks like he's not gonna get this one. And Pleb takes this round. And if Pleb takes the, uh, the current round right now, he takes the whole match, but Ple Uru is not happy about it and is applying yeah. great oh, pressure yeah. against Sorry. Pleb. Yeah, just not to lose a bracket. Um, uh, Uru is applying good pressure, now has that health advantage. Ooh, clean dodge there by Uru, doing the uh, uh, card breaks avoids after the avoid. Do but Pleb does not like that. Apply, uh, doing that EQ for the interrupts, applying the pressure against Uru, but Uru does have that health advantage. Clean dodge there by Pleb. Oof. Oh, Pleb tries to interrupt guard breaks with the EQ. Not a great plan, and Pleb suffers for that. Having literally zero HP, how the fuck is he alive? And applying that pressure. Whoa! And he actually takes it with zero HP. Pleb coming on top. With zero HP, clean, clean, my boy. So next match is Collector versus Validian. This is the losers bracket, so this is basically a normal CT. Ooh, clean start there by Validian, applying good pressure, interrupting that heavy attack. Oof. Oh, both players applying great pressure, switching up. Validian. Uh, Collector doing some failed miss absorbs there though. Uh, Validian can't capitalize this. Or can he? Collector try applying good pressure against Validian. Oh, I shouldn't have painted that. Yeah, right. Both are very good of aggressive players and they're just yeah. going ham at each other when possible. Yeah, both switching pressure instantly. I meant to paint that into whatever. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Both players low on help Pelpa, but Collector has that pressure advantage. Oof! Literally zero ah. HP, but he does get it. Collector does get round one in a very close fight there. Damn. And he gets the, ah. the sh heals off. The fucking lag spike right when I went for that uh, low kick faint. Uh, nah. I don't know why it hit his absorb, but that fucking kills me. That was bad, man. Collector does take round one in a very close fight there. Miss, misses his absorb and Validian applying pressure now. Both very aggressively. Uh, uh, switching pressure 
all the time. Collector trying to find an opening. Does fail a bit and takes a lot of damage. Validian trying to not, uh, get the uh, Collector and he does that at the end with the wall up. A clean finish there and Valian takes round two. Oh, very close games. Yeah, very close. That was a clean wall up there at the end. Validian uses that silence, so Collector does cannot use his abilities, but Collector does not rely that much on his abilities. He's more of a absorbed player. A collector applying great pressure with that jump out tailbone mix up. Validian can, fails to uh, react to it properly and gets punished severely, We're very low on that health bar. While Lydian does have EQ in there, uses it, but does not have too much of an effect there. While Lydian, uh, very low on that health bar, but does some cleanup, clean parries there, wow. but that's not enough. <laughs> and Collector takes round three. If Collector wins this one, he wins the match. Honestly, I think it's just the fashion. of Indian's fashion looks like he's just a prospect with some who opened just one rift disc and put on some <laughs> random stuff he got. Hey, he's, he's, he's just trying to he's trying to psych the uh, opponent out, so the opponent thinks he's weak, even though he is like very far in the tournament and in the last one as well. Oof! The guard breaks, bro, uh, collector breaking that guard and stealing the gloves. The gloves that were ghost changed to be three for some reason because slow clip's dumb. Uh, collector applying good pressure. Validian trying to counter that. Both players just switching pressure all the time. Very aggressive players. Quite a very interesting matches here. Ball, oof. But, oh, wait, wait, okay. Camera glitched out there for a second. Oh, Collector with zero HP and literally now also is zero. And the most motorcycle ugly is that Collector just got driven by a Validian there. Driven over. I don't know the expression. Oh, wait, that was. Oh, wait. That was Valindian who won. Yeah, yeah, true, true. So whoever wins this round wins the that, um, match. little host. Little host best host, my dude. Change the scores. Little host for yeah, I fixed it. I fixed it. Little host for little tournament, my dude. Collector up, up, applying the pressure. Yeah, I, I fixed it. I fixed it. Oof, Validian stops that heal ten by collector. Validian looks to have the upper hand right now with that health advantage, but does not react to that jump out elbow mix up correctly. Very low on that stamina bar. Oof, Validian does get punished, but he avoid. But Collector does not have stamina. Can Validian, pre uh, but he cannot capitalize on that. And both players have their stamina bar back. And both players have literally almost like two punches away from death. Collector has a bit more. Oof, Validian. Yeah, oh. Validian's going down. <laughs> that that last was wrongly reacted, but very close fights there by Validian and Collector, especially at the end there. Now we have Uru versus Nilek. They're just they're testing out the players. Oof, Nilek starting off with the aggression. Uru immediately countering. Oof, lead plays by Uru, but Nilek already countering with with that high damage breaking uh, Uru's guard here. Uru playing applying the pressure. Nilek does not react to Uru's pressure, gets high damage under him. Nilek does have that EQ uh, and is avoiding pressure, but not good enough. And Uru takes round one. Both players quite aggressive, but not as aggressive as last fight. Honestly, Uru. I prefer Uru to win just because he's a U and we need to prove that EU is way better than a name. EU <laughs> hype. There you go. Next fight is still N8 though. No, not by next 27. Yeah, no, that is next fight. This next fight is still NA versus AU. Um, Uru applying good pressure versus Neil. Ooh, Neil like doing the BM heals. Not working out for him though. Uru uh, trying to dodge too early, missing some dodges. Neil like uh, doing some great damage against Uru, but Uru is now applying the pressure and Neil like is. Very low on that health bar. Does not dodge the guard breaks. Does not dodge the sidekicks and dies to Uru in round two. 
very good job by you. I'm just biased because the league beat me. <laughs> yes, hosts are definitely biased. Could have been me up there. No. Could have been. Could have been. Neil like applying the pressure. Uru is low on that health bar, but Neil like is low on that stamina bar, and he's starting to get crushed. On who is the fuck is messaging me? Okay. Chris, uh, oh my God, Chris, that's not important. Carry on commentating. Yeah, I'm trying, dude. It's just uh, messages. Uh, but oof, Uru doing that pushback quick step cancels. Uh, but Neil like. Trying to switch the pressure. Oof! Nilek dodging a bit too early and gets punched for that. Ooh, Nilek doing that EQ. Trying. Both players very low, but Uru does come on top in a clean 3 0. Next fight is Uru versus uh, Uru versus Collectio. So both players staring at each other. Who can? Who's gonna initiate first? Is it gonna be Cold Boy or Windy Boy? And. Uru tries to initiate first, but Collector with the clean dodge with that back trip kick. Oof. Uh, Collector fails his absorb, and Uru does apply pressure, but. Oof. Clean plays there by Collector. Ah! Oh, and the terrain comes in handy for Collector as Uru does break the guard, but cannot confirm anything off of that because of the terrain. The rain pockchain, my dude. Oh, Uru does block the guard uh, EQ, so Collector cannot confirm anything off that. Honestly, you can't really blame the terrain for that because that's just player positioning. Let's imagine you're playing on a map where you can pull off. It's a very similar idea in terms of how terrain plays out. True, true, but true, yeah, actually true. So uh, players knew the position, knew the location. They could have studied the place and knew there the, the would be terrain there. So you're right there, and Collector does stay at round one, but Uru already applying that pressure. Collector reacting very wrongly there, missing his absorbs, but Collector getting angry about that and applying pressure to Uru. Ball players switching their pressure constantly. Oof, Uru fails, he avoids the Collector starting to uh, pressure back. Collector very low, but does not get that confirmed there. Uh, Uru trying to find enough confirm. 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 Collector healing off those absorbs, doing some clutch base. Ball players very low. EQ psychic does not confirm anymore. Collector does take this one in a very clutch round, taking it back insanely nicely. Damn, Collector is on a yeah. roll, you know? He's 2 0. 2 0. Uru has to win. Two, three times in a row to bring it back and Collector needs to win this one and he takes the match. Collector trying to find an opening, Uru does strike first, Collector fails to, oof, but he does react to that pushback kick very nicely there. Uru breaks the Collector's guard and this time there's no terrain to stop him from confirming some damage, not as high as he could but still very nice. Collector I'm trying to apply some damage back to Uru, but looks like Uru is switching the flow and taking the round. Okay, this could still be anyone's game. Yeah, Uru has full health bar here, and so anyone could take this, but Collector needs to take this now to take the whole match, but Uru has to win two times. Both players trying to find an opening, and Collector does find it, and applies good pressure against Uru here. Oof, Uru takes half of his spell bar, but the clean dodge there uh, confirms a sidekick there. Oof. Oh my, that's a lot of damage on both players. But that's a Uru, lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And Uru tries to push back, except cancel, and tries to EQ a jump out elbow. That's not gonna happen, my dude. And Uru trying to back off, trying to heal, realizes he's in a really bad spot. Does not have any helper and does lose to the collector. And collector collects another win for Ooh. his name. Collector is actually going to Hamilton's tournament. Yeah. Cabinet, called to the very semi finals, but well, to the very top, to the top three players in the whole tournament. Yeah. Next fight is Best Pleb AAU versus Aaron Lott. They're both just standing. What up? <laughs> 
<laughs> what up? Both even emoted at the same time. That's hella cool. Let go. <laughs> hey, Flip bringing out the cult. Actually going cult. Oof. This is Pog Champ. Pog Champ indeed. Pleb applying the initial pressure against Aaron. Aaron trying to find an opening and he does but Pleb already turns it around. Does a high amount of damage against Aaron but Aaron finds a great parry there. Applying good pressure against Pleb here but Pleb running out of that stamina but still applying pressure. Aaron trying to find an opening. Pleb just absorbs all of his opening tries. Ball players roam on the stamina. Clean parry there by Aaron. EQ confirms coming off of Aaron. Apply pressure here. Oof. EQ com confirms coming out again. Pleb not having that much help out, but Pleb Aaron e literally on zero HP. Clean parry though, but not clean enough. And Pleb takes the first round. Oh, that was a very exciting match indeed. Yeah. This is. Wait, is the best to seven? Wait, no, 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 sorry. Best of five rounds, right? First of five. So, uh, the finals is best of seven. Oh, yeah, the finals. Okay, so not this. So, this, this is... This is... Uh, okay, my bad. Um, EQ not, comp uh, not uh, stopping uh, Pleb Steel. Pleb Steel has skill. Pleb blocking uh, that. Uh, fuck, I can need to get an angle. Both players... Uh, uh, Pleb running low on that stamina. Good interrupts by Pleb though. Eren cannot find an opening. Both players applying good pressure. The camera angles are very amazing. Yes, the leader tournament speaks for itself with them camera angles. And both players decide to fight in the worst camera angles place possible. Pleb running low on that health bar. Clean parry there by Eren. I could not see, but I could hear it. <laughs> and <laughs> EQ confirms confirms Aaron the second round. I mean, I can't even tell who wins. <laughs> Aaron got that one, but Aaron does have less help by the Pleb it, uh, gets the initial uh, aggression here. Oof! Uh, Aaron tries to do, go for a pushback kick, but Pleb interrupts that. Oof! Pleb gets slapped by Aaron there two, three times. Clean manual dodge there by Pleb, but interrupted by Eren's EQ here. Play is finally finding a normal place that I have normal camera angles, that's for great. Pleb miss, uh, Eren missing that uh, parry, Pleb capitalizing it on very well. Pleb starting to use the EQ confirms as well, Eren backing up and healing. Both players very low, Pleb turn, getting off his gloves, Eren, uh, Pleb's angry, using his glove decks. You applying that cut on Aaron, cutting him up a bit. Ball player is very low, but Pleb has that cut. Ooh, and clean parry by Aaron. Taking the win and the gloves. Oof. Hey. And he also has that heal and applies that little BM for the for the rounds here. So these matches are actually very close, even yeah. though Aaron is played forsaken, so. Oh, I, I, I think cult is sometimes even better than Forsaken, to be honest. So these matches are very close indeed. Yeah, ball players. Posted. Yeah, ball players playing their styles to their limits. Eren trying to find an opening. Pleb running out of stamina, but Eren not really capitalizing that much and dying too. Uh, Pleb there. That was weird plays by Eren there, trying to go into a, a rush attack, even though he was in melee range. Um, but okay, Pleb takes his gloves back and starts applying cut to Eren. Eren has some clean parries there though and starts applying pressure back. Pleb's gloves do break and Pleb tries to confirm liberty off of um, EQ. That's an interesting idea. Eren, <laughs> the clean parries by Eren. I can't stress this enough. Uh, Pleb trying to mix up Eren so much, but Eren does not care. He applies very clean parries. And Pleb as well, the absorbs and manual dodges, uh, the timing on manual dodge is very tricky. And Eren does take, what the fuck, uh, accidental altar because they died next to altar. Oof. Eren does take this round. Harry game by Eren is just too good, yeah. to be honest. Like It's okay, just... They're very unexpected, to be honest. Yes. 
I think well, everyone was full of health anyway, or right? Yeah, close I to think. It. Plus, you uh, just heal, so. Yeah, basically, that, that's equivalent of a heal. I just say it like that. Oof, Fleb applying pressure. Fleb not happy about this last right here. Uh, slapping Aaron here. Aaron trying to find an inter. Fleb actually absorbed the jump out elbow. That's rare. Uh. A ball player is trying to find an opening. Aaron does find it first. Fle Oof, Axig does confirm against uh, Aaron, but only on guard. I thought that was actually on hit. Uh, oof, Pleb uh, slaps out Aaron mid air uh, out of his jump out elbow. Aaron interrupts Pleb here, and ball players switching aggression quite frequently. Uh, Pleb has the aggression advantage right now. Ball players on a sliver of health, who can confirm first, and oh, I thought it's gonna be Pleb, but it's gonna actually be Aaron with a clean, clean wallop, and he's take this round, since it's best of five, it's just not finals yet. If uh, Pleb has to win against Collector to get to the finals, I think. So, we have best Pleb versus Collector. Well, who's the better suck? Well, I guess we'll find out. I think Pleb is bringing out the windfall for this one. Not sure though. Clean dodge there by Pleb. He's definitely bringing out the windfall. And that side click. Oh, whoa, that's tracking though. That's a weird tracking. And Collector absorbs weirdly. Trying to get out of Pleb's pressure, but you can't escape the Pleb. He gonna suck you back in, I don't know. Jump out tail, Pleb trying to EQ on the jump out elbow, not a great plan, but he, now he does get that EQ off. Collector trying to run away, trying to find a good uh, opening, but Pleb just avoids and does not give LA Collector anything. But both players have low health bar here, can Collector bring it back? I think their help, oof, Collector taking high damage here. Pleb blocking that EQ and uh, uh, responding with an EQ of his own and walloping to the victory. I'm actually quite disappointed with Pleb that he didn't bring Cult into this fight because these are the best Cult players we've seen in the whole tournament and it would yeah. have been interesting to watch them play the same style. Yeah, I would love to see Cult versus Cult. The ping pongs are really interesting. Pleb kind of teleporting right now. That's kind of interesting. I think, I think Pleb he's unleashing his Jedi mind tricks. Yes, Pleb using the Jedi teleportation the sacred arts of Lidl Internet. Um, oof, getting punched in the face by those heavy attacks. Pleb low on that health bar, trying to use the environment weapons to interrupt Collector. Clean uh, dodge there by Pleb, breaking Collector's absorb two times in a row, but Pleb does have low health bar and will be finished off by Collector. Still pretty close fights. Yeah, Pleb ha kind of having Wi-Fi problems though. <laughs> but looks like and now it's smooth and fixed. Both players have same health bar, but Collector does have that environment weapon. Applying some nice uh, cut damage with the wood weapon, I guess. <laughs> Oof, clean dodge there. But, but the weapon is now broken. Pleb having the pressure right now. Collector trying to get away gets gets punch a lot oof uh, pushback it does a lot of damage pleb clean as uh, manual dodges there oof jump out elbow does connect but pleb does not care and pleb takes round three and if pleb takes this current round he takes the whole match and gets to face Aaron in the finals oof and uh, uh, collector changing his mask going super saiyan Collector ain't playing around no more. His true form is unleashed. And uh, uh, Pleb's true form as a helicopter is also showing right now. He's just spinning around, dodging everything. Clean, clean duck there by Pleb. Oh, Pleb falling off for the tra tra all the stick in the book, jump out elbow feints. If you wait, wait to jump out elbow a bit, you can dodge it uh, later. So. But Pleb not using that for some reason. <laughs> Oof, that interrupt died, push it. Oh, the E kill confirmed by both players coming out. Both players quite low on that help bar. Pleb keeps falling for that jump out elbow feint. Looks like 
Oof, collector, nice interrupts. The pleb cannot find an opening, but he just did. Never mind. Uh, he pushed by pick breaks that EQ and breaks collector. And pleb takes this round and goes to the semi finals. The battle of the suck has been confirmed, and Aaron has the best. Uh, Aaron pleb has the best suck. So now we're going into the finals Aaron versus pleb. The final match is best out of nine. Whoever wins five rounds wins the tournament. But if if uh, if Pleb wins these five rounds, Pleb has to win two times against Aaron, since we have a loser bracket and a winner bracket. Yeah, Pleb going win for for the finals. Okay. Hmm. Interesting strats. Sure. Let's go. Pleb versus Aaron. The finals. Pleb bringing out the windfall, maybe to confuse Aaron. Highest Oof. level PvP gameplay. The highest of the levels. The highest possible. Oof. Oh, Pleb uh, dodging Aaron's pressure, but Pleb already low on that health bar. Aaron playing good pressure here. Just. Oof. But clean dodge there by Pleb, but Pleb already half his health bar. Oof. Uppercut. Oof. Yes, that's a lot of damage there by that uppercut fairy and Pleb just dies. Bad, bad avoids by Pleb coming off in this round. Maybe Pleb not ready yet or hasn't downloaded Aaron's deck just yet. Aaron misses a parry, but Pleb does not uh, does not use the opportunity. Trying to dodge a bit too much. Pleb taking high damage here. Aaron misses the side. But Pleb now on the offensive, Aaron Wallop, uh, EQ Wallop does high damage here. Pleb reacts uh, to the jump out elbow mix up, getting spanked in the face, oof. Uh, Aaron, Pleb bringing out that EQ confirmed with Aaron responding with his own EQs. Oof, that oof, Aaron reacting very nicely to that mix up, does not care and parries it, parries the uppercut. Pleb now on the offensive, but Aaron does not care and parries again. I did, I gave rounds to Pleb for some reason, but it, I'm wrong here. I'm fixing the score right now. So Aaron 2, Pleb 0. For some reason, I mix, uh, mixed up the scores there, sorry. I think Pleb taking Windfall instead of Cult is a big mistake by him himself, just because of how Pauly is performing compared to how he performed with Cult. I agree. I'm not sure why he did not go caught there, since it is his main. But maybe you tried to, maybe you wanted to confuse Aaron, but he more confused himself here. But he now is doing performing pretty well, getting Aaron to half of his health bar. Oof, EQ confirms he are coming by both players. Pleb applying good pressure here. He might. Oof, the fourth paint, the fourth paint. But Aaron just does not care in no he can react, but no he does care because Pleb does take this round in a very fast last seconds there. I'm not sure what happened there. There was a lot going on. A lot of feints. I think he's just trying to imitate Goku when he's going Ultra Instinct with the windfall, just because as cult he is not really as mobile. Maybe. Pleb trying to go Goku. Oof, but now he's going no stand though, but a clean dodge gives him back the stamina. Does not have that much damage on that though. Oof, the Aaron applying high pressure with that wall up. Whoa, and Pleb tries side dodge, a side kick, gets punched in the base with that side kick. Oh, Aaron guesses the wrong side there. Bow players very low on that health bar, very close. Literally, whoever gets the first punch in, but Aaron has that stamina bar advantage. Oof! Oh my lord! And Pleb oh literally, my. literally zero HP, and Pleb takes know what's that. I'm just shouting. <laughs> Pleb literally had zero HP there, and he survived and got that EQ confirmed. Ooh, clean parry there by Aaron. Oh. Oof! Oh, Aaron fails the parry on that fade sidekick, and but starts to apply pressure back. Oof! Pleb does a clean dodge there. But Aaron EQs and does not care. Pleb does not react to the jump out elbow. Takes a lot of stamina damage, but starts to apply pressure. He's running out of that stamina. Oof, but that clean avoids giving him that stamina sustain what he needs. 
Oh, but Aaron does not care and slaps him with the hook. And Aaron takes the fifth round. To be honest, Pleb is actually performing very good with Windfall. Yeah, Much at the start, at the start he was kind of, kind of not performing, but now he starts to perform. I think he now started to download Eren's deck, and Windfalls are more reliant on downloading than cults. Oof, Eren trying uh, reversing that pressure, Pleb trying to get out of that pressure, and he kind of succeeds, but not really because Eren parries that uppercut and starts to pressure again. Oh, that clean pushback kick parry there by Aaron. Fled trying to uh, get any form of pressure in, and he kind of does succeed. Aaron fails to uh, parry that uh, sweep there. Fled uh, jumps something, but that is not successful. I think he tried to uh, predict an EQ, but he was wrong. Aaron gets a heal off, but uh, Fled uh, stops that heal from happening. Clean uh, parry by Aaron, but at that sweep, and Aaron does take the this round right here. And Aaron needs one more round to take the whole tournament. But he is low on that health bar. And Fleb could but still come back. Fleb could easily still come back, but both players well, not are easily. true, true, not easily. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, definitely not easily, not easily at all. But he could come back. Oof, but as uh, as he's reacting right now, it does not look good for him, but Oof, EQ uh, EQ coming both out for both players. I was thinking that might be it. Oh, and play breaks the guard and breaks Eren and takes the win here. All you need Oof. to do to win this game is to do damage so your opponent reaches zero HP. And that's what the enemy, I mean, that's what Eren <laughs> and Pleb are doing to each other. With yes. A very high level skill of <laughs> Yes. Making the numbers go down. Insane yeah, play play right there. <laughs> that's the main goal here, making the numbers low. And Aaron is making Pleb numbers very low here. Pleb literally on zero HP. Any damage to Pleb will make him go down. But Pleb applying amazing pressure here. Aaron does not react correctly. Pleb even Pleb, oof. But that's not oof. good enough. And Aaron takes this around and takes the tournament and Aaron is the victor of Shotgun yeah. Salt. Congrats Aaron. Yee. Good job everyone. That was actually real hype. You guys look at that was nice though. Do we do we well 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 do we wanna interview Aaron if he like wants to be interviewed? Sure, like if anyone wants to be interviewed or any player wants to interview, we can do a little interview afterwards. Well played by both players, GG's very, GG's by everyone to be honest in this tournament, GG really, the chat, guys. really high gameplay coming from everyone here, especially these two players right here. Oh, okay, the prizes. Do you want to go over that, Chris? Yes, uh, how I understand, Kaisha will be given a drawing and I will be paying $30 in Steam. For the victor here, what is Aaron? I oh, right, I forgot I'm caught. I so can't. Pleb wins a drawing of his character, which he already has like five. Yes. And Aaron wins money. 